Cortés.
power of the cloud. Cloud power, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to tell you what happened. Just give me a little bit of time, Verge. I will tell you guys all what happened. Um, we will have audio from uh, Persona here. Um, and let's just make sure everything's right on my end. We don't need this additional link open. I'll open up the channel. Today I'll be also able to talk about, um, what's that game called? Skull and Bone. Um, I have all the topics written down. I've been writing them. I, th I think it's better to just have the shit written down. Uh, so I have those written down. I have also images and stuff. So we're going to have a shitload of real topics to get to. <clears throat> I'm going to try to see if I can start timing some of our topics for at least 20 to 30 minutes per topic. Um, on Sunday shows only, obviously. So let me uh, just start over this. I'll, I'll open up with the audio uh, from Persona. And then, you know, I, I kind of describe what, what's going on with the audio. So uh, I was alert. Well, uh, I don't want to give myself a light. So I was alerted by someone right, that Akira had came back to Twitter. Uh, Akira is... Uh, basically, he was a clout chaser. He was pretending to be Japanese for a couple of years. Uh, we even had him on the PlayStation Legion uh, Sunday show stream a few years ago. Um, long story short, he wasn't Japanese. He could not speak Japanese. Uh, and we don't know if any of the information he ever gave was real. Um, my problem with him stemmed from his uh, gaming knowledge uh, that after I went through his trophies, I found out that he was excited about games and hyping up games and talking about games that he hadn't played. Uh, and it was very suspicious for someone that lived in Jap Japan to not play Japanese RPGs like Bloodborne. So there was a lot of red flags for me just on the gaming side. It wasn't until this year, uh, two weeks ago, where he got exposed for not actually being Japanese, and that was by someone else. This is the thing. He has 4,000 followers. The more people you have, the more you're going to be scrutinized, right? As simple as that. The more subscribers and support you have, the more people are going to scrutinize every little fucking thing, okay? They did that shit with me. You know, it is what it is, but... That's what happens eventually. No matter how good you want to seem in the public eye, somebody's got to have a problem with you. Just watch your back and make sure your fucking record's clean. I know I ain't clean. Um, <laughs> but I ain't horrible, you know? I ain't lying about my identity. I ain't lying about my gaming history. I came into this community to keep it gaming. And, you know, if people want to share pictures, grown-ass men, by the way, I uh, want to show pictures of me or share pictures with me. Uh, uh, let me let me reword that. Grown ass men want to trade pictures of me, like Pokemon cards, to other grown men that supposedly have wives and kids. And hey, that's on them. If they want to be weirdos like that, they can be weirdos like that. Cause that's the only other way I'm gonna look at it. You can't shame me on nothing. You know, you can't shame me on shit. <laughs> Because, you know, you the motherfucker saving pictures of other dudes on the internet for years. Let's make this a known fact. Remember, guys, I keep telling you I've been on the internet for years. I have grown men that have saved images of me on their cell phones or computers for years. Fucking weird. Um, but, yeah, and in Akira's case, he, was, he lied about a lot of shit. His identity... Uh, his heritage, nationality, um, and his gaming knowledge. The problem we're having is I knew that he couldn't stay away from Twitter. He, 
as as big of a clout chaser as he is, he wasn't going to be able to stay away from Twitter. So the only other way he was going to be able to come back to Twitter is to try to come back to Twitter and apologize. The big thing is, when you leave, then you admitting that you did something wrong, right? And you're admitting that it was so bad that you should have fucking left. You can ask anybody that knows me. What happened with me? I ain't leave. I ain't missed a beat. Because like the hashtag that I'm going to keep running on Twitter. Keep that shit gaming. I kept it gaming. Always did. And somebody go and spread shit around of people I used to talk to that I no longer talk to. Hey, that's what you got to do. I can't stop that. It's weird to mess around with people's personal lives. It's weird to save pictures of other dudes on your cell phone and computers when you're supposed to have wife and kids. It's weird when you're a grown-ass man to the point that you have gray hair and doing that weird-ass shit. It's weird. But I ain't leave because I kept it gaming. It's, it was games to play. It was games to talk about. I ain't leave. The fuck I'm going to delete my account for? The fuck? I ain't do anything that other guys don't do. And as factual as that. It's just JTAC. <laughs> so JTAC has to be the worst person in the fucking world. Gotta be a fucking Satan. Gotta be di a demon or something. It's fucking JTAC. Oh my god, JTAC did this. Nobody else in the world did this. Fuck out of here. Um... But, long story short, I care a lot of his nationality, his heritage, gaming history, uh, and like I said, he couldn't stay away from Twitter, so he came back to Twitter, he reactivated his Twitter account. I knew it wasn't permanently deleted because, again, he's a clout chaser. Came back, tried to apologize, did a lot of uh, uh, spaces today, and I had got, I had saw a notification, uh, but obviously he has an uh, account blocked, but then, you know, the some people in the PlayStation Legion Twitter chat uh, let me know. And I was like, hey, I can't see it. I'm blocked. Um, so, you know, I found a way to, to see it. Let me just say that. Uh, or hear it. So when I uh, went into spaces to hear him, uh, literally, from what I was understanding is, he was a very shallow, shy, uh, douchebag piece of shit that I know he is. Um, and he allowed the people that, again, thinks more highly of him in a gaming community than people do of me in the gaming community, okay? Again, keep that shit gaming. My gaming history. I'm here for gaming. Always have been, always will be. So, um, from what I understood, people that was cool with him, was in the spaces defending him and letting other people know that it's not that big of a deal for him to lie about his heritage, uh, his nationality, and using racial slurs while pretending to be uh, another race. And they're saying, it's, it's all right, man. Don't worry about it. You made a mistake. You've been lying to us for multiple years, but it's all right. I mean, it it takes a big fucking coward to get on the internet and pretend to be another race in order to get more clout. You know, you're in a gaming community where you can't stand to play Bloodborne to get even one trophy, but you can sit up in the spaces for three fucking hours talking about other games that you also didn't know and be forgiven. Because this is what the gaming community is now. They elect who they want to represent the community, even if that person doesn't play games. So I'm going to play the audio. And uh, you guys can hear Persona's take on it. And again, big big shout out to Persona. A uh, lot of respect for him. You know, like, we're in the same community. We're, you know, we're, we're you know, I was on a couple of streams or spaces before Persona, uh, Persona J Jabari. Uh, got a lot of respect for what they do. 
you know, uh, we're operating in the same community. They give me my respect all the time. Every time I talk to these dudes, they give me my respect. They know I've been here for a while and I, and I can't help hope for anything else more than that. You know, just that little bit of respect. Hey, bro, I know you've been here doing it for a while. I know you've been, you know, that's all it takes. You don't got to talk about all the different platinums I got. or It doesn't matter. You know me. I know you. And that's fucking cool. You know, uh, I know. I think I think Persona is on the East Coast. I think one of them's in New York or both of them might be in New York. But uh, I'm over here in the D.C. area. So we're all on the East Coast. So we, we share that little bit of a bond. Um, but again, when I heard him speak the way he speak, I, I had a whole new level of respect, you know, because, you know, they they don't I don't see him speak like this all the time on Twitter. And I'm not always like I can't always watch their live streams. Sometimes I, I I I pick and choose a different live stream to listen to while I'm working out, cause that's the only like free time where I'm not gaming or I'm not editing or I'm not doing a live stream. I'm not at work that I can listen to other people in our communities' uh, streams. I mean, you can ask King Thrash. Um, you know, when I uh, was on a roundtable, you know, most of the time I was and I was at work. You know, like. I I'm at work more than I'm uh, home. So, uh, yeah, let, let me get this for you guys. Yeah, so, this is Persona, and he had joined uh, the Twitter Spaces, a.k.a. a voice-based podcast uh, that they have that is a part of Twitter now. And basically, it's just an easy way to gain a lot of clout, especially for these people like Akira that, you know, it's just so easy to lie and, and, and also be accepted for lying um, in the gaming community or just, you know, just in this day and age. But, again, the respect I have for Persona for calling him out on the shit that we have been saying for a while. And it's just, you know, it's, it's like, hey, bro, at that point in time, I understood that, like, they might not speak on that shit a lot, but they know what's going on. And that's all that fucking matters. You know, like I think Persona and Jabari, that's, that's all I needed. That 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 confirmation that they know what's going on in our community, and that they are bothered by it in some way, shape, or form. You know, I might talk about me being bothered by it more than they do, but the fact that I know that they know uh, King Thrash, you know, um, uh, J Dub, Guabzilla, uh, Next Twenty, like we're all. It seems like we're all on the same page that the gaming community more specifically um so the gaming uh the playstation gaming co community on twitter has been infiltrated by a lot of fraudulent people i mean i mean it's i, I we'll talk about it on the other end if it's too late or not but you know just listen to this Because you did some fucked up shit, bro. Right? I made I made light jokes of it other. Because listen, man, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Because I don't fuck with you like that, right? We don't follow each. I don't follow you, and, and because you always been doing some sly shit that never sat right with me. So I don't fuck with you like that. But seeing the situation and seeing the people calling you friend and oh yeah, I love talking gaming and all this bullshit. Call out your fucking friends. Niggas want to call everybody friends on the internet and all the stupid shit, but don't want to call them out on a stupid, weirdo behavior. Listen, I ain't your friend, and even if you were my friend, Akira, I would still call you out on that weirdo shit because it's weird, bruh. The shit is weird, man. The shit is weird, and, 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 and it's crazy. And I'm not just talking about this, oh, I'm from Japan, I speak Japanese bullshit. The Esler and many other things you've been doing in this community, and then you pretend like, oh, well, I don't know, I, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know it would be bad. Who didn't know that it would be fucked up no, I to call somebody that. an Esler? Who didn't know that it would be crazy to, to pretend to be from somewhere that you're not? And the fact that you've lied and said all this other shit, and then sit here and say, oh, well, I'm half Japanese and all this other shit, it's fine. No one here can dispute that, right? But who, who's to say that you're still not lying? And the niggas is coming up here talking, trying to talk games, ha -ha, laughing and shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. This is why the community is so fucked up. And this is why a lot of you new niggas will always be at, at, at state's length from me. You are all some weird motherfuckers that accept this weirdo bullshit. Have a good day.
Yes. So yeah, um, that was he was there for a, a few minutes. That was like a minute and forty uh, seconds of capture. Um, I, I was able to capture the tail end uh, of what he was saying, but as you can, as you hear from him, he knows about the infiltration of the PlayStation community. He understands that you know there's a lot of new people that we we just don't know because it's just a flood like playstation is the winning console since last generation you're gonna have a lot of people switching over or you're gonna have a lot of people migrating um and i'm not saying a b worry of everybody but look bro playstation been good for years like akira just started hopping on the bandwagon let's say three four years ago like when people hopping on the playstation hype bandwagon at the towards the end of the console generation you should always be skeptical of those people. If they popping out of nowhere and you never seen them for the for the entirety of the PlayStation uh four generation, you should be like, hey bro, where was you? If they don't have an answer for you, bro, you need to just stay clear. You cannot be trusting people that are just popping out of the fucking bushes. You know, like, let's be honest, bro. Will you let a stranger cook your fucking food? Well, let's be honest, we let strangers cook our foods all the time for fast food. We don't know these niggas. But I'm just saying, bro, like, would you let a stranger borrow your gaming console? Would you let a stranger, uh, you know, come into your fucking house? You know, would you let a stranger drive your car? No. No, bro. You got to you gotta value them. You got to check them out. You know? I'm going to hop into the PlayStation Legion, um... Room because I'm not sure if uh, Truity or anybody want to jump in here and talk about this. Um, always mad gaming. I think I saw a message up there that you said you're about to go see the Thor movie. Well, let me know how it is. There's some mixed reports, and I want to know if I should spend money on that shit. Um, I was thinking about going Monday since I think I believe the majority of the gaming news is pretty much out the way. I, I mean, I should be able to. Just go see uh see the movie early um on Monday and then head to work. It's gonna be a draining week at work for me because somebody's off and I it's just gonna be draining as fuck. So um been raining like a motherfucker over here at least in the DMV area, man. It was raining nonstop monsoon type shit, bro. Flooding in Washington D.C. It was just crazy on multiple fucking accidents. Like, literally, it was just fucking wild out there. Coming home at, like, about between 1 and 2. Bro, it was just fucking crazy. Um, I'm so glad. I'm so blessed that I was able to make it home safe, man. Um, it's crazy out there. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Um, Rack, what's going on? Uh, J, uh, J Cats, what's going on? J Cats, if you need a profile picture, hit me up, man. William Wildbeast, what's going on? Lorenzo, Donkey Kong, um, Zero, 72 Knight, what's going on? I see you You got the little red hood profile picture. That's dope. Um, who else we got here? Darkness Winds, Verge Brizzle, The Unknown, SIE, and Vegan VR King. Uh, those are the people that are here right now that are speaking in the chat. If you have not uh, been shouted out. Okay, there we go. 23 Black Ninja. What's going on? Uh, you can just, you know, say something in the chat and give you a shout out uh, before we get started. What the fuck? Hold on. Hello, uh, you just called, I, I made, what the fuck, god damn, I called my food, <laughs> you put me a hole so quick, what the fuck, yo, can someone explain what happened with Akira, okay, I explained it again, Akira was pretending to be Japanese for multiple years on Twitter, he also pretended to, speak Japanese even though he never did 
Some people that was close to him that was tired of him saying Japanese racial slurs and other types of racial slurs under the guise that he was from Japan got upset, exposed him two weeks ago, and the community felt shocked about it. So there are a big portion of people that are just going to support him no matter what. And there's more real people in the PlayStation game community on Twitter that are distancing themselves and saying that it wasn't right. I'm one of those people, but I already had my suspicions about Akira for a while, and it seems like Persona and maybe Jabari also had their suspicions. Um, I was very vocal about my shit. If 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 you look on shitty, I'm gonna let I'm gonna I'm gonna say that shit out loud. I mean, life's too fucking short to, to, to fucking hold back. Fuck that shit. <laughs> like, people don't hold back when they come at me. I ain't gonna hold back when I see something weird going on. Um, so, yeah, Akira was pretending to be Japanese, and he got exposed. If that doesn't clear anything up, if you need more details, you can say it right now in the chat. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing a debate with Kevin Mack at 8. I don't know if he could still want to do the debate, but I'm supposed to be doing a, a debate with Kevin Mac, Mac at 8, so I will make the graphics and everything. Let me go check. Because I ordered some Chinese food from Grubhub. Yeah. Hello. Hello? Yes. Um... Okay. No problem. Bye. Okay. They didn't have bottle sprite, so they just put two scan two cans of sprite in there. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. So we're uh, it, um, if anybody needs an explanation on what's going on with a cure, yeah, we can do that. But um, there that's not the only person. <laughs> it's like two other people. I mean. What what happened with me? Anybody that shit can happen to anybody, bro. Like any person you talking to can just you know kind of leak all your fucking information if they don't like you or some shit. I mean that's that happens all the fucking time. Actually, it's called revenge porn, but we're gonna talk about that another time. But yeah, long story short, any uh, that shit can happen. What happened to me can happen to anybody. I mean that's just happening all, all over. Uh, but you know, pretending to be a different race. Pretending to be a different gender in order to gain clout and followers. It's a little fucking slimy to me. I mean, not slimy. It's very slimy. Like, just be yourself. If you think being yourself uh, is not going to net you any followers, then you're you're not here for the right reasons anyway. You know? Like, if you have to do stuff differently and, and try to cheat the system in order to get, like, a lot of followers and a lot of people to like, you're not here for the right reasons. You know? Let's be honest. You're not here for the right reason. It's alright not to be here for the right reason. But don't be a bitch about it. Um, so, to the best of my knowledge, it's like about two, three, maybe four or five different people. One of which got um, exposed in the last week. Uh, that was... A, a guy that was operating a female account inside of the PlayStation Twitter gaming community, and he got exposed. Um, it's just, bro, it's just so fucking crazy out this bitch, man. Like, there are just, it's like, bro, be yourself, man. I know it's the lamest thing to tell anybody, but just be your fucking self, man. Like, be your fucking self. We gonna play one match of Rumble versus. This is a new uh, brawling battle royale type game by Epic. I thought it was fun. I played. Uh, I played. A, uh, played one match. I think I played one match. No, no, I played two matches last time. 
So they're gonna have they're having a, a play test right now this weekend. It's free. You don't need to pre-order the game. You don't need to do any of that stuff. Um, I did notice that they had a different um, setup of uh, content available to create your character, but it is what it is. Uh, you you are able to create your character from guy to girl. So this is what I want to uh, ask you guys, right? You guys know how I am when it comes to video games. And you know how I am when it comes to creating a character. Um, we know this is not what I look like. If I got on the internet and I posted an image that is 100% opposite to what I look like. And then when I get caught, I apologize. Should I still be able to stay in the community? Should I still be able to, you know, like, have all my followers? Should I still be trusted? Like, I feel like lying about your identity is way more serious than people give you credit for. People can lose their whole fucking lives for identity thefts. You know, and we got people in our community purposely lying about their identity in order to gain ground in our community. I mean, it's really fucked up. Hey, uh, tech and talk to me about that spaces, man, because I'm not sure. I'm, I might try to see if I can hop back in that shit, but one thing I do know is, um, I'm going to go recreate my character. They don't really have my size. Like, I'm not, like, super fucking... I'm not, like, Superman. But I'm not, like, super skinny. So I guess I'm going to just have to go with this shit. Oh, not that black. Not that black. Mm, that's a little bit too black. I, okay, I got this one. I don't have a fucking butt chin. Brown eyes. There we go. This, I'm guessing it's as close as we gonna fucking get. Okay, let's see what we got. We don't need no, oh, they got a cat mask? Oh, that's pretty dope. Oh, that's fucking dope. I think I already know what I'm about to do. Oh, what do we got? We got a, a jersey with a samurai sword on the back. We got this thing going on. We got robotic arms, but they're pink. I don't. That kind of looks like Jax. <laughs> Wait up, that kind of that looks like Jax from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay. Um... Yeah, they don't really have a, a good amount of option for clothing for this uh, playtest. I wish they would have had one, but they didn't. And I don't like the fact that all the elbow pads and gloves are pink. It's a lot of pink. Now, um, let's see what I what I what I got going on here. Um, I'm really fucking up here. I'm just gonna. How about this? I'm gonna put this cat hat, hat on. I'm gonna put this shit on. I'll put these shoes on. Call it a fucking day. They're gonna call me the black cat. Yeah, that's my name. Fuck it. I'm still black though. Black Panther? No, black cat. Black Panther. Yeah, I'm the black cat. I, I walk around the streets of, uh, America smacking Xbox fans in the face with bundles of Game Pass cards. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good backstory. Let's do that one. Okay, I'm the black cat. I fucks with this. Fucks with this. Let's go get in, into a game real quick. Now look, this is the thing, bro. If you're a gamer... 
I mean, not let's say you're not a person that does YouTube like me. Pe they call people like me YouTubers, but YouTubers are completely different than me. I'm just a person that has a YouTube account and plays video games. I don't do this shit for a fucking living. When I hear hear the name YouTuber, I always think of people that do this shit for a living. You know, I'm not that type of person. I wanted to do something for you guys. I wanted to see if we could get the music on. So just give me like one second. Um, let me. Oh fuck, they launching me. They launching me. Where did I go? Give me like one second. Give me one second. I just want to get the audio for you guys so you can at least hear this shit. I'm trying to do better with this audio. Oh, that's outside the fucking. Fighters have touched down, and Gravital City is I know, motherfucker. Okay, so this is uh, this is uh, Rumble. What is this? Rumbleverse, right? So Rumbleverse is a battle royale brawling game, fighting and also wrestling your way to the top, right? So basically, you're. Hey, bro. Don't fuck it. I think you about to get me. Yeah, you little fucker. I'm faster than you, little fuck. Yeah, come on over here, you little fucker. Yeah, come on over here. Yeah. Oh, fucking run. You better run. I gotta watch my back. He might be a little bitch and try to fucking sneak attack me. It's a battle royale game, but with fucking... With, uh... It's fighting instead of... Yeah. Yeah, it's fighting instead of anything else. So, yeah. Replace, replace. Okay, cool. So you pick up boxes and these energy drinks and you can use them to enhance your attack. Oh my god, look, it's the Xbox. Look, it's the fucking Xbox brand. Take a nice little video of that. Um, but it's dope. It's it's a nice little cartoony open world fucking game. Oh fuck. I can't even see you, little fucker. Oh, I thought you could bust those boxes. Well, I guess you can't box and fuck up everything. 
And you do have melee style weapons. Again, it's like a a, a brawling wrestling game. Right up. How? How are you fucking doing that, you little fucker? Hey, leave me alone, you bitch! He power bombing me. I'm done. There's no way I'm surviving that shit. I thought it was over, but they're up on their feet. Yeah, you didn't like that I made a comeback, you little bitch. I didn't even know I was gonna make a comeback. But it's alright. I'm gonna eat this fucking piece of chicken and call it a day. Call me Chicken Man. How about that? Oh, fuck. Let me get away from that. Can I use this? Yeah, I can use this as a fucking weapon. Cool. So, it's a... Oh! A drop kick. Okay, you little fuck face. How am I not stronger than you? It's over for them, but there's good news. They can get started planning their epic comeback. How is... How are they how are they faster than me? Whatever. But this is Rumbleverse. So if you wanna know about this game, that's what it is. I was very interested in it because obviously when it comes to competitive games, I'm more in the realm of using melee than using guns. Um I don't mind playing shooting games, it's just that I like doing melee attacks in shooting games, so it's pretty cool that it's a battle royale game that's just based on melee attacks and wrestling. Um, I don't know how far it will go, but I think it's a pretty cool concept. I don't think I did really good this round. Lorenzo, he's another one of those fuck niggas that came came up through Twitter spaces that got exposed. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to see if I can go check out that space. I, I would only hope that it's not still going on because... That space, at the time that it was going on, it seemed like it had been going on for a while. Okay. Um. Man, I'm leaving this fucking I don't think I got much of any experience. Prospect League, okay. Let me see if they got the shop. Grand opening soon. Of course it is. That is just so hilarious. Cat man. The black cat. Yeah, I love it, man. Inter it's an interesting concept. It's a really interesting concept. Let's see what we got. Yeah, they're still going on over here. Let's go check it out. That I have jumped in front of or defended Akira's lies. Uh, I've called them lies. I've called the behavior unacceptable. I have, and not only have, have I done this publicly, I've, I've actually had much longer conversations with Akira privately about the the
as, as humanly possible and say that I can't possibly understand on a personal level the pain that people feel when they see those kinds of slurs. I just cannot. It is not a, I can do my absolute best to empathize and, and to think about what it might be like, but I just haven't lived in existence where my identity is weaponized against me. And I do everything in my power to explain to people why that is wrong. Um, I just... Uh, the whole, the whole manufactured spaces by Akira to get people close to him to basically kind of fake roast him so that they can get it all out and he can just go back to doing the same bullshit he was doing is fucking stupid. So what is he going to do now? He's going to go right back to being Akira. He's doing it right now. He's using the name Akira and knowing that how close it, it it's related to Japan. And so you guys are going to let him off the hook while he's doing the He's lying right in front of you. He had changed his name three times from Akira to other names because people were catching up to him and his lies. And he he wanted people to stop finding him, but they kept finding him. On Twitter. And the dude still has 4,000 followers on Twitter. A good amount of those followers, from what I understand, are not going to un uh, unfollow him. They don't see anything wrong with his actions. I got my food here. I am about to start up. Um, I'm going to start up the pirate shit. And then I'm going to eat and watch this stuff with you guys. Uh, I wanted to know, though, um, in the chat, how do you guys feel about someone lying about their identity, organizing a fake pity party slash roast uh, podcast so that they can get it over with and go back to lying to everybody in our gaming community again? Because, see, again... The lie that people are focusing on is him pretending to be Japanese, but he also has pretend to play video games that he has never touched. And I just wanted to know why people are excusing his fake gaming history. Let's continue. Tell me that you're Japanese, and I, I believe you 50%. You know, whatever. I, I have no reason to disbelieve you, but I have no reason to believe you. I'm a journalist. And to, unless I can prove something, I'm not going to take it to the grave. I'm not going to take it to another party. I'm not going to repeat it. That's a lie. Most journalists report on nothing but rumors these days. They don't do their research. Look, most journalists yesterday said uh, uh, Hendo Kojima killed the ex-Japanese president. It was a guy that looked like him, but it wasn't him. And they ran with the story. Now, Kojima production has to take legal action against anybody that's running with the story. So for this, again, a fake journalist going to Akira's podcast claiming that journalists do their research. No. And if you're a journalist of today, you're a liar. Most of the shit you post is clickbait. Most of the shit you post, you didn't do heavy research in. Shit, I do more research in the information that's spread around by real journalists than they do. That's how I know it's bullshit. So again, he organized a pity party from people that are cool with him to make it seem like what he did wasn't big. This is what I'm gathering from this. And it's really fucked up. Right to do that. In fact, he opened the space specifically for that reason, so we should. But at the end of the day, man, you can fuck with him, you can not fuck with him. Um, you know, I don't, and everyone gets to decide what that means for them. And uh, like Nib said, if that means being a friend to someone who you think you need to help them learn and grow, and having conversations with somebody that you know has a lot of problematic 
tendencies, but rather than just say, well, it's better if you isolate yourself and go into the dark. Like there's a lot of different ways to deal with problematic behavior. And I don't think anyone has a universal answer to this question. So Akira is an acquaintance of mine and I care about everybody, but I don't believe him about anything. And I don't believe most people about anything that I cannot verify. So it's sad and disappointing a reminder that everything on the internet could be absolutely bullshit. And that I think is the thing that's where I've really been most disappointed at in a cure for me personally, from, from my side of it, right? Of just like, man, just another reminder that you just don't know anybody, right? Even on a human level, that fucking sucks, dude. And that's why you shouldn't play with people's emotions. And that's why you shouldn't manipulate other people. That that's, and ultimately, that's what you were doing here, was manipulating people. And that's what's inexcusable about what you've done. But irredeemable? Not for me. For some people, if he's irredeemable to you, swear him off. Don't fuck with him. Block him. Move on with your lives. And if anybody says, I do fuck with Akira, you say, well, then I don't fuck with you. That's cool, too. Like, I admire that principle. And I admire that willingness to draw your line in the sand and say, I am out. And I just hope that people will also respect my line in the sand that says I'm not out, but that doesn't mean that I think it's okay. That doesn't mean that I'm excusing. So he just said that he didn't want to fuck with Akira on a personal level, but then he turned around and said, well, I'm not out. I'm still going to talk to Akira when it comes to video games. Again, they're going after him, you know, because he lied about his identity, but they admit that he lied about his gaming history or gaming knowledge. That's how fucked up our gaming community is. Yeah, he lied on a personal level. But if he lied on a personal level, why wouldn't he be lying on a gaming level? We gotta listen to the rest of the shit, because this could be interesting. This might be the least gaming game cast you ever fucking did tune in for. Because this is related to gaming. To have people in our community pretending to like video games and love video games and play video games and they don't. I already said well, all of them are here. And uh how do you call this? Yeah, again, uh, I'm getting the feeling that, you know, uh, inexcusable and irredeemable. I'm getting the feeling it's irredeemable. So I don't know if um I'm trying to. Sit down. I don't want to take the you know the, this this internet thing on a serious level, and again it's uh it's starting to get to me, honestly speaking. So it's now starting to get to you because you got caught. But if you didn't get caught, it wouldn't have been getting to you. Now you don't want to take this seriously. What he's going to do, he's going to leave again. He's going to hope everybody forgets. He's going to pop back up. People are going to pretend that they forgot. And they're going to accept this nigga back with open arms. Shit, we got the PC and Xbox community. They don't even care if you're racist. You can be racist today, tomorrow, next week, fucking next month, next year. It doesn't matter. They're not going to call you out on it. There are some communities where it's all right to do what he did and they will never call you out on it. But in the PlayStation gaming community, it's not acceptable. Now, what I want to ver what I want to um, correct is everybody that's in this little spaces with Akira, they are not a part of the PlayStation gaming community that I know or I was a part of before it existed. <laughs> yeah, think about that. Um no, no, they're not a part of it. They're just here to clout chase and and, 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 and kill time, I guess, in their lives. Um, but, they, like, I don't respect anybody. Like, the dude was talking. He's not a journalist. He's not He's not real. You don't even know who he is, bro. He's not real. <laughs> like, I blocked him a while ago for pretending to be a journalist. 
He doesn't know shit. Most of the people in this space don't know shit. Especially if they defend in their cure or saying, I'm going to still fuck with you. Because again, they're mad that he got caught on a personal level. They're not mad about anything related to video games. They're not mad that he possibly could be lying about his entire gaming knowledge. They're just mad that he got on a personal level. Crazy, bro. You should be disqualified if you can't verify that you play your fucking games. Or the games you've been talking about. But they are just talking about him being racist and pretending to be Japanese, which is a horrible offense. But again, they're still going to fuck with him because they think he's good on the gaming side. If you're fuck if you if you've been lying about your personal side, you're definitely lying lying about your gaming side. Well, 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 yeah, I'm I'm going to. Yeah, no, I I, I meant it. Yeah, I'm going to delete the account. I, you're, you're okay, right? I'm not an IT guy either. Yeah, no, I am I, absolutely not. However, I had a group of people I'm cool with. We talk gaming. We're passionate about gaming. Yeah, Why no. give that? No, but listen though. Why give that away? Just to, like, yeah, the internet is not a real thing, and you can talk, make up, and all that jazz, but still. Again, I'm going to roast both of you guys. The internet is a very real thing. You can lose your life savings on the internet. You can lose your identity on the internet. You can lose your job on the internet. The internet is very real. Anybody that tells you it's not real, um, yeah, remind them of all the people that had their lives ruined because of the internet. The internet is a very real place and it can fucking touch you. It can. The saying that the internet never forgets, it's to let you know how real it is. Let me speak. I'm a, I'm self-aware. Accountability takes time. <laughs> this nigga is so fucking fake, bro. I might delete this account, but you know, I, I I never said that I'm never coming back. I still <laughs> personally don't know what I'm gonna do next. It's, it's just what I'm saying because you know, if I'm gonna properly take accountability, I, I cannot do it overnight. All right, and I'm. Just the thing, man. Just the thing. I took accountability the moment that everything with me, right? And again, when we have an Xbox fan soliciting images of myself from a female in order to spread it online to get me off of the internet because they don't like the way the console war is going, that's a, that's a real fake area. The console war doesn't actually exist. The last time it existed when Nintendo, Sega, and PlayStation were going against each other and the whole United States was the battlefield, uh, battlefield of the console war uh, on a more uh, corporate level. Who's going to own the majority stake in the gaming industry? You know, who's winning? Who can sell more consoles? Who can sell more software? Uh, who has more paying customers? That was a console war. What we call it now is just Fanboys on the internet bragging about what platform is better. Or in the PlayStation uh, gamers case, we're actually just showing off games. <laughs> Letting you know how awesome our system is. A console, is in a, a console war is in a real place. And a console war uh, can't touch you. And it can't do your fucking job. Like if I go to my job today or tomorrow and I say, hey. I was a veteran in the console war. They're going to be like, what? What is that? But <laughs> if I go to my job and I say, well, this happened on the internet. And they're like, oh, uh-oh. You see what I'm saying? Big difference. Internet, console war, big fucking difference. Um, so um, when it comes to people targeting you personally because of a fake area, the console war, that's when it gets really weird. You know. That's when it gets weird. No. You, you know, you're being targeted on the internet because you fucked. You said something stupid. And you deserve all that. 
You know how many racist people have lost their fucking job because of the racist shit they said on the internet? And they got exposed the racist shit they said on the internet? Yeah, a lot of people. The internet is real. It can hurt you. It can take everything you want in life. Your identity, your life savings, everything. Shit. Dudes lose their wives and girlfriends on the internet to other guys that are on the internet. So please, please spare me the bullshit. When anybody tells you the internet isn't real, please tell them to shut the fuck up. That's the, that's the, the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. The internet isn't real. Okay. Whatever. Uh, Ty HD. People take it too personal these days compa uh, compared to back then. Back then it was simple. Even the PS3 360 console war. Um, awesome. And I, you know, so PlayStation and Xbox, they did hash it out in the console war. But then, it, you know, we had the different branch of the console where at that point it was more of fanboy uh towards the end of that generation of fanboy console war and it was still fun you know people didn't get personal people didn't you know try to solicit pictures of another grown man so other grown man could see those solicited pictures and i don't know what's up with their sexual orientation but that is fucking weird i have some other words to say but i don't think i'm allowed to say those words uh but yeah uh when it comes to pretending that you're a different race uh, that's a no-no. You can lose your job if people find out that you've been um, trying to pretend that you're white or trying to pretend that you're black or trying to pretend you're Japanese and they uh, can identify you. You can lose your job. Shit, the, the, let's say the your girlfriend or your wife, I'm pretty sure she's not going to like that you're pretending to be a different race. Because if you're pretending to be a different race, you can be pretending to do anything. You pretend that you have another girl on the side. You can pretend that you know, in a gaming space, you can pretend that you played a game that you didn't play. Yeah, um, it goes deep. That's why I said I find it weird that they're only focusing on the fact that he lied about his race and not the fact that he's obviously been lying about the games he's played. But uh, he still got more to listen to. He keeps pretending like he's gonna delete his account, but then he said he will be back. He has to be held accountable. You, you left. You bitched out. Like that accountability shit matter. I ain't go nowhere. I had to accept the fucking music. I had to accept the smoke from everybody. What I did was wrong. I'm not saying I'm the only person that did it. It's just the only person that Xbox fans felt that they wanted to target individual time. We had gotten information um, on the PlayStation Legion uh, and that the PS5 was going to get revealed. It was rumored. The Xbox fans had that information. They wanted to try to upset the fucking natural order of the console war. Uh, I mean, I've been around for a long time. They're like, hey, if we could take JTAC out, if we can get him off the internet, that's a big victory. We don't need to really worry about video games. We just need to focus on big PlayStation fans. They took their shot, and they made their shot. It didn't fucking go in, because I'm still here. And they still have no games. But that's just how pathetic the Xbox community was at the time. Yeah, the PC community jumped in on. Or people that have both platforms jumped in on it. Hey, you, you can not fuck with me. It's cool, man. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to eat great food. I'm going to be working out. I'm going to do me. But, you know, they did it for the purpose of the console war, a place that's not real. You know, that, that it gets a little awkward, and, you know, like when you do stuff to, you know, for the Internet because you don't like the platform that he supports or the platform he supports is doing too good right now. We got to see if we can get the focus off of that platform that's doing good. Pretty fucked up. That's all I'm saying. Trust me, everybody. I, I, I want everybody to know that even though I didn't talk about it in the beginning, I want all the, the haters, if any of them are watching, or the people that didn't support me, I knew exactly why they targeted me. 
It was pathetic then, it's pathetic now. Now, Akira, again, the racial slur shit, that's, that was weird. I'm not going to say I excused it, but he kept saying that he was Jap Japanese and it made it okay for him to say it. I'm black. I say the N-word all the time. Only with an A, not an E-R. I can say that. If you're white, you can't say that. So he pretended to be another race so that he could get away with saying racial slurs. The fact that he wasn't that race makes it really, really fucking bad. I, I don't know why they're going to allow him to come back. But when he got caught the first time, he deactivated his Twitter account. Publicly letting everybody know, yeah, I know what I did wrong. And I don't want to face the music. I'm not ready to to handle the smoke from all sides. A real man's gonna fucking own up to that shit. He ain't gonna go nowhere. I can't tell you how many people blocked me. I can't tell you how many people said uh, they don't even care about my gaming history. They can't fuck with me no more. Perfectly alright. I ain't go nowhere. Where am I gonna go? I like playing video games. I like posting gameplay. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Again, like I said, if you're a grown-ass man sharing private pictures of another man, check your sexual orientation. You might be gay. Especially if you're still saving those images on your cell phone or computer. Check yourself. I said it was gay then. I say it's gay now. And if you gay, hey, bro, I'm all for it. But don't hide that shit. Um, We got to listen to the rest of this bullshit stream not what i'm here for like, like yeah. i only have 1800 i just reached 1800 followers right and i'm proud to say for me personally that i reached those numbers right and it's not a lot compared to others but i reached those numbers over the course of a year of me just being me right whether you agree with my opinion or whether you don't agree with my takes or whether i said something stupid or whether i said something that you thought it was you know i was spot on or whatever everything that i've always put on my twitter whatever rants whatever thing whatever it was how I genuinely felt at the time, and that's what I wrote, and that's what I want other people. The guy that said he reached 1,800 subscribers is currently following 1,600 people. It's a big difference when you reach uh, 1,800 subscribers and you're barely following that, that number. So he had to follow people in order for them, hopefully, to follow him back. So, you know, you don't get any brownie points for kissing ass. Literally, and hoping that somebody will drop you a fucking penny. Uh, I know this guy's guy also has me blocked, but uh, again, like he's talking to a lot of people to either have me block or or from the Xbox side or multi console side or some shit like that. Xbox logos in the back of their what's the name? It's just a lot of people. I've I've seen these faces before, and a lot of these people I don't even fuck with because when it came to me, they ain't fuck with me. But I I funny that he has a spaces full of people that they you know they didn't fuck with me after what happened but they're ready to sit down and forgive somebody that was pretending to be a different race and while saying racial slurs you know if being racist is acceptable in the gaming community i don't want to be a part of the playstation gaming community anymore i'm still gonna play playstation i'm still gonna love them you know, I still love these games, but I'm not going to fuck with a lot of people in this community. And you think I don't fuck with people now. <laughs> when I say I don't fuck with you, if you know who I am, I really don't fuck with you. You'd be completely invisible to me. That's a lot of these new motherfuckers I just can't fuck with. Especially the dick riders. And I see a lot of them right here, bro. What's funny is I'm about to expose a lot of these people because I'm about to take a video of me scrolling through through the people that are listeners. Growing experience. Yeah. And and like what other people brought up, like there's other people that have done way worse, and they and some people still accept accept them, right? Like 
people will be like, oh no, it's hero. People did way worse, like being racist tops all. Literally, being being racist is unredeemable. Hulk Hogan said the N word like ten years ago. Black people still remember that shit, and they don't fuck with them. Like, bro, being racist trumps all. It trumps all. Again, there are people in here that are just saying, "Hey, bro, it's all right that you were racist." It's all right that you were racist. Don't worry about it. I'm dead serious. There's people in there that's just saying, hey, bro, it's all right. It's all right that you were racist, man. Don't worry about it. Hey. You can't make this shit up even if you wanted to. It's all right, Zero. I hope you're having a fun time. with Which which Ratchet and Clank are you playing? You said the old one. Which one? There's a lot of Ratchet and Clanks. That's just, just awkward, bro. Awkwardly weird. Awkwardly weird. Where are we at with this? Okay. So, I kind of fell asleep. Well, I didn't fall asleep watching that. I was working out, and while working out, it wasn't anything good to listen to while, like, working out. So I kind of stopped it. So I was doing front-facing front, front workouts towards the TV, like curls and different type of workouts that I could do while also facing towards the TV. Um, but it just got so boring. Um, what I will tell you guys is this a this is a more mature version of Sea of Thieves. This is a very mature, realistic version of Sea of Thieves. And if Sea of Thieves truly does have a fan base out there, Skull and Bones is going to get that fan base. So if you're Xbox, th this is going to suck for you. Any little bit of revenue, any little bit of success that Sea of Thieves got, will lose all of that by the end of the year. There's no fucking way they are able to retain any of this success from the, the pirate uh, crowd at the end of the year. There's no fucking way. <laughs> I mean, we should really call the catfish people at MTV and see who's real and who's not. Because even though Akira claimed that he came clean about not being Japanese, he only came clean after people exposed him for not being Japanese. He still hasn't posted his real picture online, which I find a little suspicious since you got 4,000 uh, 4, followers. You can do a face reveal. If you still live in Japan, ain't nobody going to be able to catch you. You in Japan. Who's traveling to Japan right now? Nobody. That shit's locked down tight. The ex, the last president just got fucking assassinated, bro. Like, come on, man. Ain't nobody going to touch you. If he really wants to come clean, if he really wants to seem sincere, he was like, hey, this is how I look. I'm one-eighth Japanese or some shit like that. I apologize for everything I did. It's probably going to happen again because it's the only way I can get you guys to focus on me. And then move the fuck on. Because the people, the people that really support Akira don't care that he was racist. That's what today has taught me. The people that really care about Akira do not care that he's racist. He can be racist and they will still follow him. Shit, I've saw racist people get way more followers than myself. Call Eastwood it's a prime example. He had a shitload of racist tweets about, quote unquote, and these are his words, not mine, quote unquote, Jap crap and 
uh, crap gamer used to talk about rice eaters. These are their words, not mine. Uh, in reference to um, Japanese game developers and PlayStation fans that like Japanese games, and now they're all like getting excited because Final Fantasy is coming over or, or, or Kingdom Hearts or Yakuza. So, yeah, the, the Xbox community is the biggest racist pieces of shit on the internet when it comes to gaming. I mean, only second to, to the PC community. It's a fucking just a whole another can of worms. Has anybody saw Kevin Mack? I just want to verify if we're still going to get this debate out the way today. Now, one thing I did, I do like about Skull and Bones, it, it's very, it's very cinematic, but I'm not sure if you're really engaging in any of the action on the boat. I feel like when you're, when you're, when you're steering the boat, you can like do commands and you'll fire the, fire the weapons but i don't think when you're doing a hand-to-hand combat you're actually in control of that i think it's based on how strong you and your crew is if that um if that crew member defeats the other crew member that's on your boat and i feel like a lot of this is a lot of just a lot of cut scenes and shit and i just want to see raw gameplay and i'm pretty sure they showed it but it's just what we see here is more so just the gameplay I'm seeing, the core gameplay, no cutscenes. It's just them, you know, riding around and stuff like that. You see when, when they jump from ship to ship, that's all cutscenes. I want to know if that's a part of the gameplay in any way, shape, or form. I know that the gameplay element of firing canning, cannons, that's real. That's gameplay. But I want to know... Can you individually, as a character, go to another ship, hack and slash people with your fucking sword? And I don't think you can do that. Now, I know they're trying to pretend that you can do that, but I don't think you can do that. Uh, the panel should be open. I thought I was in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump back in there. Yeah, you can, you can, o you can open the panel. Yeah, bro, I'm in there. You can join there. I mean, we're we're open right now. Like, if you if anybody else besides Games Fraternity want to jump in here on the panel, you can jump in. We're trying to get more people to be a part of it. So, we, what's going on, bro? Yo, yo, what's up, man? Hey, Skull, I see Skull and Bones, man. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Hey, bro, my fucking shit's weird. So, it seems like they automatically... So, it used to just be, you know, the people that... <laughs> it used to be, like everybody's name is by their face and their face yeah. is always there now it's if you're talking your little circle pops up. i i gotta go back and change that later but i, I like it it's pretty cool i guess okay <laughs> and whoever's talking you see the circle let me go make that a little bit bigger uh what's going on with the skull and bones man yeah i saw skull and bones uh you were talking about you don't know if you can fight like hand to hand right i don't think you can either because when they, were showing a when they were showing a demonstration and shit, when I was watching the little video that they had, the stream, they didn't even mention hand to hand combat, bro. Okay, like, so all of that's that all of that's just bullshit. Yeah. That's cutscene. Yeah, it's probably, it's oh, probably just bullshit. it's probably just a little cutscene they show, you know, once Fuck. you like take down a ship and shit. But you, you can basically. you can get off the boat now to go like to islands, right? Yeah, you can you can get off the boat. I saw that in gameplay. Okay. I mean if you they need to add that though. They need to add that, bro. Because that's, that's, like that's something people. that people like on Sea of Thieves. And if you get to really go head to head with Sea of Thieves, you exactly. need to make sure you have that. I exactly. think they should have took another year. I, I really don't. Listen, listen. <clears throat> I'm about to tell y'all the only reason why Ubisoft went forward with this shit, bro. Let me, uh, first of all, let me mute the audio because I know they about to have copyrighted music. Ubisoft <laughs> went forward with this because they don't have shit this year. 
They got to make mm-hmm. money back some way. And this game looks like it's going to be littered with microtransactions. It does. But hold on. Aren't, they're not getting... Oh, Avatar's not coming out this year. No, it can't be. They barely been showing no, that no, game. No, 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 no. Avatar's coming out this year, but... It, it is? I, yeah, I believe oh, okay. Avatar is going to be a very single-player type of game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Unless they have multiplayer in there any way, shape, or form. They ask no, I'm, sure they'll have, no, I'm sure they'll have co-op, though. So it'll have microtransactions. Yeah, Because think about it. It's going to be like Avatar Ubisoft World. Ubisoft just fucking Far- doesn't know how to do Far- shit, people. It's, it's like, going to be like Far Cry style, bro. That's all. I'm pretty sure, for the most part, right, when it comes to the multiplayer and shit, the co-op. I know they're going to have co-op. If they don't, that's a missed opportunity. It's, it's, I say I want to take an L, and I want to take an L because I really thought Ubisoft was going to cancel this game. Me too, bro. We have not heard about it in like four or five years, three, four yeah. years, something like that. I, I never thought they were going to bring it out. Hey, I got to say, though, that kind of gives me hope for like Beyond Good and Evil too. honestly. Well, they're saying that's going into more of the public playtest, so we'll see. Ubisoft just got too many fucking projects, though. God damn, man. They probably, for one. They need to focus. You know, they need to streamline a little more. They got too many. That's what I'm saying. Because if you got this many projects, obviously the quality is not going to be as good as most people will hope, you know? Like I said earlier, um, I said this the other day when we were together. They took a massive hit on the expansion for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Because nobody was buying it. Yeah. That's Everybody true. was worrying about Elden Ring and Horizon. Right, right. Which that DLC does not look bad either. It looks like a cool DLC expansion. I'm yeah, going. I'm sure. was talking about playing it, and I know I'm you sure. were. I know. I know. I'm gonna play one of these days when I get around. To, when I get up, you know, <laughs> gotta beat the game first. I think I'm gonna play through God of War again. I'm gonna play through that. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna finish it up like the. And, I'm not and, playing it on and, Give Me God of War, but I will play it again. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. Um, I'm gonna finish it up, like, and try to come hundred percent, hundred percent it. This is Ubisoft bullshit. Oh, they out. start off the stream with some dude making a boat. I swear, like Ubisoft is so fucking full of themselves sometimes. <laughs> like, damn, motherfucker. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to skip the game. They can go fuck theirself. Yeah, most Ubisoft games, man. It's just, um, for me, it's just like. I, if I, I wanted to see somebody build a fucking boat, I would have went to a boat factory. Oh, my God. <laughs> this dude. Nah, it's just, I just know not to go day one with Ubisoft games. That's oh, no, no, no. Definitely. You I'm hurt not yourself. Shit. I'm not. I'm not shitting on them, but like they. I sometimes mean, they, bro. Sometimes they, you know. I know you love your RPGs, and you got to get fed this year. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, um, uh, Valkyrie Elysium, Star Ocean. Like, bro, you good this year? God of War, Absolutely. Last Star of Hacker. Us, maybe. I know. So this. hacker. So hackers too. Like, yeah, bro. it's like, bro. I, like, you could. I think people could skip this game. And be 100% all right. Basketball, Madden, uh, Call of Duty coming out for all the casuals. They ain't buying this shit. The Sea of Thieves community will, though. Yeah, they probably will. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a it's gonna be a flop, I think. Yeah, I think no, I don't think it's going to be a flop flop. I think if the Sea of Thieves community really love those type of games, they should come out and support it. Yeah, yeah, Xbox sure. fans keep saying how popular Sea of Thieves is. So if that game is popular, by default, this game should be popular. Yeah, that has some credence. Sure. I mean, I I hope. I already know to see if these are really not popular, but I gotta be honest. This game, aside from you not being able to get off the ship and shoot people in third person or first person or slash people with the sword, aside from that. I believe this game is better than Sea of Thieves in the quality department. Oh, yeah, obviously, yeah. I mean, it is by AAA Studio. Well, Sea of Thieves by AAA Studio, too, though. All right. Rare hasn't been AAA since the N64. <laughs> uh, be honest. They haven't had AAA graphics for 
a console. It's That's just a 64, man. Like, they could have did way better than Sea of Thieves in, in the visual department. Like, it, it could have looked way better. This is Ubisoft, everybody. We gotta watch it. So for the last nine minutes that he's been creating some part of the ship. I just hate Ubisoft, bro. I just hate them. And I, I don't hate anybody specifically. I just feel like they're a little bit too much. Most of the time. Yeah, yeah, a good bit of time for sure. I, I agree with that. A good bit of time they can. He said that's the coolest shit he's ever seen. No, it's not. <laughs> Watching somebody make a piece of a boat, it's not the coolest thing you've ever seen. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, the game looks all right, but like, man. They, I mean, it's Ubisoft. They got to hype it up. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it'll be good if. The see if these community like it. I haven't really heard anything, but I need to go around Twitter and see. I'm about to go on Twitter real quick. Oh, those those are some very beautiful um, young ladies right there. So it doesn't look like this is by their main team. It looks like this is from like their B team. Because their main team is working on Assassin's Creed. So this is from Ubisoft Singapore. Games for eternity, bro. Uh, what's good, man? Are you going to support the chat with a super chat? <laughs> a nice $500,000 super chat and game pass cards? Would yeah, be nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me go get the money from True Witty. Okay, go get that money from True Witty. Yeah, he got all of Phil Spencer's. So he just got paid. I want, I want to, uh, hold on, let me go check, because you know I've been writing down a lot of topics this week. We're going to have a great Sunday show. That, man, I don't think I wrote this many topics down, ever. <laughs> you think we're going to get through them all? <laughs> we, we, I think we should. Though. I hope so. Okay, yeah, we got it. One of our topics is going to be God of War. Uh, no, 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 I'm not going to say it. Game of the year. And all I'm going to say, do you remember 2020, right? Uh-huh. When everybody wanted to hate on The Last of Us because they wanted Cyberpunk to be game of the year. Do you remember yep. that? And yeah, what happened? Cyberpunk got delayed outside of the fucking uh, cutoff date. And what happened? Yeah. Last of Us won. Yep. And not only that, Cyberpunk wasn't as good as a game as Last of Us. Right, 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 right. And it did not win Game of the Year the following year, either. Nope, nope. So, yeah, long story short, if if it was me, if I was an Xbox fan and I was sitting up there like, 
hoping and praying that God of War doesn't win Game of the Year just so Elden Ring can win. I'm perfectly fine with God of War not winning Game of the Year. Because I know I used to go sweep Game of the Year everywhere else. BAFTAs, everywhere. Every other award show, God of War is going to get the awards. Yeah, you're probably right about that. It's how it usually goes. The thing, another thing is, Elden Ring came out so early that people just don't give a fuck about it anymore. And God of War is going to be so fresh in the minds of gamers. What's up? Yeah, super fresh. Yo, Chewy, you got my money, bro? Yeah, you got the money? Well, what are you talking about? The money. You no, know, we talked about it, bro. You know <laughs> Talked about it, man. You had that 80 fill, 85 bill, 85 mil. Bro. Listen, for one, Jay should um, Jay for one, Jay should actually be um to actually take a fucking L because you said that um God of War would not come out this year. It will oh, get I delayed. did, I did. Hey, but guess what? It. Guess what? I don't have to take L's because I give them to you. <laughs> so to be honest. You said God of War wasn't gonna come out this year, and you gonna take an L. How about that? I no, no, no. I never said that. That was you. When I give you the L, no you got to take the no statement. That's how, that. that's how it works. <laughs> oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it works. I know. I hear my fucking L. No, no, no. I definitely was saying. The only reason why I really thought it was gonna come out, not come out, is because I thought Sony was gonna be polite. I kept saying that. I said I think PlayStation gonna be polite yeah. and not step on toes. But they seem to not give a fuck. <laughs> and if this is the Sony we about to deal with in the PlayStation uh, in the gaming space, then you know what? Maybe they won't delay shit in the holiday season no more. Maybe they'll just say, fuck it. We so big, we ain't gonna fail. We gonna bring our game out in the holiday season. Yeah. <laughs> now, Skull and Bones coming out the day before God of War seems stupid. That's a, that's a, that's a death sentence. I don't know why they do I that. Sentence, so, Absolutely. let's go back to that release date. That's why they're going to move it. They're going to move that shit, bro. They, they have bro, to. And they, if they don't, it's it's on stupid the, to even work. announce that it still has that date. <laughs> wait, bro, the, the, wait, hold on. Are the, are the the the, what the hell do they think they're going to accomplish? Hey, are the pre-orders up for Skull and Bones? Or y'all don't know? Yes. Yes, it is. Hold on. Let me go oh. check. Because I thought True Witty uh, pre-ordered the game last week. Hold on. Let me check. Uh, <laughs> This nigga. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you pre-ordered it. Yeah, there it is right there. Say right there. Uh Skull and Bones True Witty Edition, a Ubisoft original. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, this yeah. right here. Yeah. Oh, I got I, I, I got my name as an edition. Goddamn. Yeah, because <laughs> the game gonna take that many L's. Yeah. Really, when you right got there. the Phil Spencer, bro, that shit like that happens, bro. Yep. Yeah, Just those saying. Phil Spencer collect it's a seventy dollar game. Oh, we really God. we should have a nice discussion about this. Yeah. We should have a nice discussion about this. You think this shit going far? I don't think it's going far. <laughs> it's basically you're always on a ship. That's that they, they still didn't even take that away. You're always yeah, on a I ship. Yeah, I know. I was I, I, at first I got a little, a little excited when they showed you walking off the ship, but then I was talking too witty before you got in here. It seems like all the other combat you stuck on the ship. Yeah, you're stuck on the ship. Like that, yeah. that, they never really got off the ship. Even when they showed that com, that fight, that combat scene, you never really got off the exactly. ship. Exactly, and that's you don't have any control of the combat. When you oh, see the it's... when you see the pirates go from one ship to the other and they're fighting, you're not controlling them. That's just a cutscene. Nope. Yep. Yep. And you're and you're still shooting on shooting that ship. You you don't you don't. It's they're, stupid, probably, they're probably not even gonna give you like quick time events for like the, the actual hand to hand combat. Like, they could at they're least. Do that. They might not even give you hand to hand combat. Nope, it'd be a cutscene. You don't. You know. You notice your you the pirate or the captain or what? what? You didn't have a freaking weapon. What happened to True? What you might? I think he's getting a phone call. I hear. I heard something. Oh yeah. Like, like a ringtone. But uh. Yeah, you don't you don't get off the ship. Um, seventy dollar game coming out right the day the day before God of War. Obviously not stronger than God of War. I feel like it's gonna it's if it doesn't 
if it cannot reach the Sea of Thieves community, then I just don't believe it's going to do anything. I'm sorry. If it doesn't reach the Sea of Thieves community, I don't think it can do anything. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a glamorous game. They're promoting it as a very glamorous triple A pirate game. And, you know, again, we know that Ubisoft gets a lot of their ideas from something that's currently popular. They obviously drew a lot of inspiration from Sea of Thieves to a degree, but that and, and Black Flag, because a lot of people seem to have liked Black Flag. So I did. Yep. Maybe, you know, maybe they were like, hey, it's about time we make this game because people like Black Flag and people also liked uh, Sea of Thieves. So I don't think they like it enough to pay $70 for it. Yeah, and people only are gonna like it a whole lot if you get to actually like do f- com- hand to hand combat, bro. You're fucking pirate. Exactly, get off the boat. Yeah. Hey, man. Look, Ubisoft has been taking a couple L's lately, so this will be another one. This will be another one. I don't see it being as successful as they think, and I think that they know it's not gonna be as successful as they want it to be. And that's why it shouldn't be seventy dollars, man. When you like, obviously you're you're holding back. You know what I'm saying? They're holding back on a hand to hand combat. Like, if they had hand to hand combat, I could see it being seventy dollars. But mm-hmm. no, that's just a no go. It should be a forty dollar game, bro. So what's coming up next? We got Saints Row coming up next in August, and then right after August on the second of September is The Last of Us Part One. These games, after, like, bro, once we get through um, July, these games going to be coming at us real quick. And you want to know what's crazy about July? Yep. It's already the fucking knife. Yep, we're already at the halfway point. Exactly, pretty bro. Pretty much. Friday will be the halfway point at the 15th. Tomorrow will be the 10th. So, yeah, bro, um, July going to be gone before you fucking know it. I'm ready for August. I'm ready for August. I know we're going to get that God of War State of Play in August. I can see it. I want to agree, but if they're going to do a big showcase in September, they'll probably have the God of War information next week because the pre-orders go up Friday. And I think that they want to match the pre-orders with a new level, uh, a new video gameplay. They did a teaser. Oh, they did a teaser exactly, CGI this point. week. So they might as well just, you know, they, I don't think they need an individual State of Play. And then, you know, in September... They'll probably have a, another little trailer of God of War gameplay during the showcase. Um, but the game comes out in November. So you could show it again in September. You know? Yeah. 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 What I'm interested in, in the shit that we don't know. And there's so many games that I know they're working on that we don't know. Forspoken. January twenty fourth, twenty twenty three. Yep, yep, yep. I like, can't wait. Got that was enough good. time to pre order that, that later. That was a good move on their part. Yeah, that was that was smart. I'm seeing that uh, Valkyrie Elysium is is right next to Madden, and right after, uh, right before one of the Call of Duty games. So. Um, it, it, it looks like Valkyrie Elysium is as strong as I thought it was. And people are going straight for the $70 de- digital deluxe of, uh, edition instead of the $60 version that I got. So that, that whole thing about people don't want to pay over $70 for the games. Well, you fucking wouldn't know it for the, by the top pre-orders. Uh, the, the top, one of the top pre-orders right now is NBA 2K. 23 champion edition and that's 150 dollars the michael jordan edition is a hundred dollars the standard one is 70 dollars then the premium edition of call of duty is a hundred dollars the cross gen bundle is 70 dollars the all madden edition of madden 23 is a hundred dollars dang yeah bro i'm telling you man people don't got a problem with paying for games that they love or high quality titles. Nope, they sure don't. Cedric said that's a death sentence. Ubisoft thinks they're high. Uh, they're, they're you know they're, they're more than what they are, and that's cool. If that's what they want to think, but 
you know, I, I ain't gonna fault them. I ain't gonna fault them. That's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. It is the power within them. I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now. I'm not in the mood to play any video games. <laughs> It's muggy outside. I, I want to get back in the fucking bed, eat this food, and watch anime. That's what I want to do. Um, I'm not in the mood to play nothing right now. But I might hop on this star, uh, star Ocean. I need to get Guardians of the Galaxy out before my fucking... Uh, before I start to not care. I need to care. Let me see. I haven't started Crash or, or Arcade again. Yeah, I haven't started any of that yet. Why is Arcade getting hidden? They be hiding some weird shit. No clue. Mm, gotta be careful with this copyrighted music. You know, I need to get... Um, I gotta figure out which what game I'm about to play. I'll probably get Guardians out the way because I feel like I'm farther on that one. It's just like when I when you start pre order pre ordering all these games, you kind of want those games more than the games that you currently own. Especially when you pre order like seven fucking games, which I think I'm about to do by the end of this year. I think I got seven games. I'm about to. Uh, pick up and that cat game is looking really good <clears throat> how about we go look at some stray gameplay so I guess I saw a lot of stray <laughs> it doesn't make sense when it costs $70 for the game when they already came out with a horror game where you have to survive on a boat which looks way better to me. What game are you talking about, Emmett? If you don't mind telling me, I would love to know what game you're talking about. I can't wait for this game. I'm hearing something about us getting some Final Fantasy games for PlayStation Plus Premium this month. Well, in the middle of the month. So, I don't know what that's all about. I'm guessing the list going to be revealed soon. can't wait to play this fucking game this game look way better than anything on xbox right now and, and there's not even anything on xbox but it looks amazing after i watch this trailer i'm playing guardians get some stuff out the way on guardians I mean, from what I've been seeing over the last uh, two weeks, uh, the developer has been posting just small snippets of gameplay. Uh, it seems like this game is, even what you're seeing right here, it's a lot more to it. And um, I'm going to love it.
That's a motherfucking cat. Day one, can't wait. What's the name? What's the name of the game, Emmett? You said it's a pirate game, it's a horror game, you're on a boat, and it's free. What's the name of the game so I can search it? I don't know what the game is. I know we got a couple pirate games. I'm a little curious about the uh, robot civilization on this game. I can't wait to play this game. Oh, I can't fucking wait. So when they showed off this action sequence, I was like, oh, okay. It's more than you just being, it's more than a cat simulator. It's much more than that. And I was like, after I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'm going to I'm I'm love this shit. And then I thought it was only like you running from the enemies. And then they started showing you had an attack. You could attack them back. Like a sonic, wait, a sonic boom attack on your fucking little backpack thing. Yep, unless you find a way to defend yourself. Oh, that shit's so dope. <laughs> oh, shit. Day fucking one. Can't wait to fucking play it. A game about cats. Oh, I love it. Like, come on, bro. Everybody loves cats. And I don't I don't like cats, but I still like cats. You like cats better than birds? I like birds better than cats. <laughs> but I didn't see any birds in that game, so I, I don't know what's going on with that. Speaking of birds, um, Guess we could go take a look at your uh, best friend from high school, Colt Eastwood. But I need a coat. I gotta, I gotta hit up uh, Yella and um, Boca Loca tomorrow. See if they can be on the Sunday show. Uh, Cause the topic where I'm seeing Xbox fans were were pissed off at Jeff Keighley because God of War will be able to be in the uh, nominated for this year game of the awards. Why are they attacking it because of that? It, it, well, it, they, they it, believe that it was unfair that Forza was not nominated for game of the year, but it was nominated last year. It was nominated, so what's the problem? They it think that the they think that Forza should have been nominated for game of the year. And the fact that it wasn't nominated last year, they think that he should nominate Forza uh, Horizon Five for Game of the Year this year, even though no, Forza was was, was not nominated game. because it's a fucking racing game. It's not even that. It wasn't even it wasn't launched this year. It was launched last year. So what the hell are they talking about? That's dumb. I know, but what I'm saying, it launched last year, got this award last year at that show, but it wasn't going to be nominated for Game of the Year. How many Forza Horizons had they came out with four before five, and then like. Seven other fucking motorsport games? Bro, you can't just keep nominating a racing game that's this exactly the fucking same, like Madden, for game of the year, bro. Like, that's unfair to everybody else. But they just want a W. That's why they fucking causing that chaos. And they, they, don't, they felt, they think that God of War should not be nominated because they think God of War coming out too late. They forgot the cutoff date. The cutoff date. I got God of War is within the cutoff date. I think the cutoff date is November 14th. Yep. 
But these guys don't know shit, man. They just don't want PlayStation. To, if you can you imagine if PlayStation brought all, out all these amazing games, Gran Turismo is gonna win best sports racing game this year, definitely. Um, they brought out all these amazing games, and for sure, Horizon and God of War are gonna be nominated for Game of the Year along with Elden Ring, and then nothing like some multi-platform games, and maybe like one indie. But nothing from Nintendo, hopefully, and nothing from Xbox. You know, you know, you know what, you know what, you know what that um what can be nominated though. What the um the freaking I can't you even nominate a DLC? Has that ever been done for Game of the Year? No, not Game of the Year, like in the sports genre. I don't they think wanted, so. They wanted Forza Horizon there, so the DLC. But Forza Horizon was there last year, and it won that award. I'm not talking about um for the, the um the game the um full game. I'm talking about the DLC. The DLC can't win an award, bro. It's not big enough. Uh, it's not like an expansion like uh, No Man's Sky, where they can get the award for most uh um for a game that's been um what's that category that they got um uh, you know uh, games as a service game like uh, um um uh, most supported game. Yeah, like that's yeah. that yeah. But Forza, this is this is about to be Forza's first real patch. Or DLC. They haven't actually been supporting Forza. True. True. I'm not going I'm not going I'm not going to lie about it. So I was like, again, bro, they just desperate out this bitch. And it's funny, man, because, you know, like, bring some fucking games out and you can get some awards, man. That's all you got to do. It's bring not even that. Why are, you, why are you bitching and crying? The more you bitch and cry, the more the more pathetic you look. They don't care. There's long past them giving a fuck how bad they look. They look bad for a long, long time. I love it, though, because it's showing everybody how toxic the Xbox community really is. You take away all those paid promotions to hype up Game Pass, and you're faced with acknowledging that Xbox is the real story with their their toxic-ass, horrible community. I got a huge, huge problem. <laughs> What's the problem? I think there's a power supply issue with the PS5, with my PS5. Oh shit! Yep. Wow. It, hap- it wow. happened to it happened to me. Um, did um on Friday when I was when I'm not Friday. Um, Thursday when I was streaming. Uh. Uh huh. And it just cut straight off. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought it was. I thought it was because. It was How many top. times has this happened? It's the it's the third time. One today. I cleaned it. I took I took it apart, cleaned it out. Completely. It happened three times today, or no, 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 three times total. Like in it the, happened in, um, in the last like what's the time span? Um, it happened on Thursday. Okay, it happened twice on um twice on Thursday, and I didn't play Friday because I was came from work, went straight to sleep, so. Okay. And then Twice on Thursday and it's Saturday, and it happened again on Saturday. Okay. Yep. Well, this is what you need to do. You I can't need call to, today. I know. Call them on Monday. But still play your PS5 just to make sure that you can have one more, you know, like just a note that it it, it is the power supply problem, you know. Could be something with the update. I haven't had any problem like that, but I have but had that problem. Be, no, no, I've had that problem before though. When my system could, shut off could, or it has has a problem. Yeah. It could be it could be the update. That's that's one thing I um I've considered because um it only happened after after my I updated my system because after after the update before the update there was no issues. Then there's not a power supply problem. It's a problem, but it's not a power supply problem. I don't think you need to worry about that. It's just a problem with the update that's cutting your system off. That, that, I mean, this happened to me over the years of owning this PS5, but it's like every now and then it's like no problem. I don't think it's a power supply problem, though. Unless there's something wrong with your cord or something wrong with your port. 
but that's where they get the, that's where the system gets the power from the, the system doesn't generate the power the system gets the power from the you know from the plug yeah so the if, plug's if, fine the plug's fine there's nothing wrong with yeah, the plug i think it's an update i don't think it's nothing wrong with the system i think it's an update with your you know, oh, I don't know. I, this update was some oh yeah, this update for that VR shit. So yeah, that's you might be dealing with that. Yeah, this is that V this was the VR this was the other VR update. Yeah, the um a, um all alone latency. All on latency mode. Cause I re I realize every time I load up Horizon Zero, um Horizon Forbidden West, it blanks out and then mm. it um and then it um loads up the game. <laughs> So it's it's using all, all a low latency. Being but, a VR king says grab a very strong vacuum. Vegan VR King says it's dust stuck inside. I'm about no, to buy, was, I'm about was, to buy was, me a vacuum so I can start cleaning my system out much more properly. Next the thing time. is though I, the thing is though I actually did clean it. I actually did clean it um clean out the system. I'm 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 going to I'm going to buy um I'm going to buy a freaking vacuum though. But, yeah, I want to buy me one too, so I can like you know so, sometimes get that shit out, uh, get that dust out the proper way, you know. I don't just want to be moving the dust around. Yeah, but that that shit caught me off guard because I was streaming. Um, I was streaming. And then it just it just cut straight off on Friday, um on Thursday. I was like, "What?" The I used fuck? to have a problem where my system would cut off, or, uh, or because I was live streaming um, on Twitch, and that was a like that was a uh, last year, the beginning of last year. It happened a couple of times. I stopped streaming on Twitch from the PS5. Well, hopefully that everything gets better. It's not heating up. It's not he overheating. So that's um that's the it, um that's the yeah, thing. It's, it's not, not overheating. Not a power. Cause problem. it cause it um cause I was just playing um Forbidden West just now and um it never overheated. His system wasn't hot. The system wasn't hot, but um it still it still shut itself off. So I'm like that. But I'll make I'll make do with it until um, until freaking until Monday I'll call Sony and see if they can figure this shit out or better yet. Um Henry said go to Home Depot and get a <laughs> Homer bucket top man and a five gal bucket hook that shit up and suck that shit out. Well, Oh. If there is if there is dust inside, I'll I'll, I'll um I'll get it out. I got a I got a vacuum coming. Yeah, I want to get a vacuum with a nice hose, you know, I want a nice hole back in. They gonna let me control the ship. Hit them hard and give no quarter. 
What you, what you playing? Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. Uh, still better than fucking Sea of Thieves and Starfield. Combined. Starfield ain't out, so I can't, so I can't say anything against Starfield that. But it does. It's a game in the stars. It does look better though. Pretty stiff though. I don't know how I fucking uh, do this shit. Jeez, how much money did she offer these guys? It doesn't matter. She wasted her money. Barrel roll. Please try to flee. I would love to hunt you down. Private boarding boys running his mouth again. Where are you going, Quill? You're making us an easy target. Turn around or we're dead. I don't know. It's to flee combat now that we have engaged. We're gonna get fried from behind. Go back. I don't mean to take. I can't hit none of them motherfuckers. I'm trying. <laughs> Damn, this vacuum is as as ex um as as expensive as a freaking controller, nigga. Damn. Uh, Seventy dollars. Yep. Let me but see that shit. It's a vacuum and a um. It's a vacuum and a uh, on a fan blower. Oh um, my. A dust blower. I'll I'll send it to you. It's on. It's on. Not bad though. I'm trying my hardest to fucking shoot the little spot you want me to shoot. They will not survive it. The little fucker. Just kill them already. There's an arch of this. 
Fuck out of my face, you fuck face. What happened? I ran into a rock by mistake in a good game over. Now I gotta fucking shoot the whole shit down again. Fucking bitch, man. Damn, a rock? Really? Yeah, I fucking flew into a rock. I've been trying to use the rock as cover. Thank you. Protect our ports. This guy's starting to sound like rocket. It's called language efficiency, well. Starting to feel like a fist off the whole galaxy. Feel that, Guardians? Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely called it. Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. Where you at? Stay still and I'll show you. Ah, fuck. Nice little mini portion of the game, not bad. Yeah, old girl needs a tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head. Well, I'll send it to you. Wow. Okay. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Hold the channel, group. Let's see what's going on. You said you did what, Truity? I send it to you. Oh, okay. The vacuum cleaner? Yep. Okay. These ships come from different worlds. Refugees. Okay, Vegan and Henry say it's just dust. It should solve your power issues. Well then, I'll wait. I'll wait until this vacuum comes. I still call Sony though. Yeah. That's for that's for damn sure. But um. Nova Core. I needed a blower. I, I needed a freaking blower, anyways. So get get one and a fan and a vacuum at the same time. It's pretty good. I know, but now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. I'll make this system. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Clarkian world mind doesn't already know. Maybe not. Oh, poor you. 
They are aware of the current threat, but they have no resources to work with. Just pick something here. How about future crime? Great idea. Let's report something we're going to do and blame it on some other schmuck. Bro, that's that, that sounds just like Rocky, bro. <laughs> I can't believe this option doesn't work. This is the core. They should be helping. I suggest the officers direct you. Congratulations on your decision to join the core. Can you give me a special phone number? Designation or serial number? Richard Ryder. This strategy is futile. Oh, come on, muscle train. It might work. Please stay close to the Artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. I continue to doubt the strategy. Please. Yeah, maybe it won't work. Fucking. Rocket. Nope. Hey, bro. What the fuck? Fine. <laughs> I keep trying to touch the screen. <laughs> Oh, I love this shit. You gotta swap their hand away. Oh, bro, I love it. <laughs> hey, Yo, bro, Rocky's this like shit Rocky. is crazy. Rocket's hilarious. I ain't going. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> bro. I love this game, bro. My guy Drax, bro. That's my guy, Drax. Yeah. I love Drax. Even in the movies, I love Drax, man. Yeah, hey, bro. I, I, I might. I know I got some anime to watch, so I might watch Drax. Oh, Drax. Yeah, bro. 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 Yeah. Well, yeah. you have oh. to be guardians of the galaxy movies, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. oh see, I've seen, I've seen both so, of them. Hey, speaking of Marvel and shit, I went and saw Love and Thunder yesterday. Um, bro, that movie was that movie was good. Uh, I like it. I like it's just it. a dust issue, huh? Okay. I like, I like Marvel. I like and then this uh, vacuum. I'm getting should should fix the um issue. So. I thought I thought Thor: Love and Thunder was pretty good, like real. And it was funny as shit to me. <laughs> Yo, Jay. I've, all, I've I've the thing is the thing is though um vegan. I've always I've always cleaned the system. But I've only been using the um I've only been using like kind of air. So but I needed something more um long term, so I decided to get um I decided to get a a blower, so actual blower. But this one up I, I looked at comes um with a vacuum as well, so should be good. Hey, you finished Thor? You say it was 10 out of 10? Who said it was a 10 out of 10? No, oh, it was like just finished Thor. It was, it was a 10 out of 10. It was a good movie, man. I enjoyed it. I didn't, I'm didn't. i not giving it a 10 out of 10. But... <laughs> oh, God. That's illegal. You got to give it a 10 out of 10 or it wasn't a good movie. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's your it's score? All, all or nothing. No, I liked it, man. It was funny. It was good action. Story was I, I mean, it, it, I mean, it was basic. It was a nice little twist um, near the end. You, was, you guys might see why whenever you watch it. I might, wa I might go and see it Monday before work. Yo, I it's not. It's shit. nowhere near as bad. It's nowhere near as bad as people trying to say it is. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. 
hey, just know you're probably gonna laugh a lot. It's a funny movie, bro. Like for real, for real. <laughs> like, hey, but no, but no, no, but Thor is funny though. That's that's the thing. Thor is funny. Yo, so the movie, was... the movie in the beginning of the movie, I was laughing my ass off, like in the first five minutes. Like, <laughs> hey, like, Thor is, oh. hey, remember Thor was Thor was funny when it when it came to the Avengers. So he's he's a funny dude. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> Oh man. I can't believe that worked. God damn, man. Hey, I will say, Christian Bale, fucking ex Batman, that nigga played that role in that movie, bro. Yeah? Yes. Fucking legend right there. Absolutely. That's you shouldn't you shouldn't let talent like that go. <laughs> Man, days do go slow when you ain't when you ain't got no games to play. Oh yeah, it's not like an Xbox Village. I'm actually feeling like an Xbox right now. <laughs> Oh man, you should never feel like an Xbox. You really know how big your backlog is. That's not, it's, no, it's not that I can't play my. It's not that I can't get to my backlog. It's seven, every freaking minute, shit happens. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the, I'm, I'm on the, fi- I'm on the final mission of Horizon, man. Oh, good oh, shit. shit. Good shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's about yeah. to finish that so he can go back to Halo Reach. Oh, oh no, no, don't even do me like that, man. He loves Halo Reach. Halo Reach. He loves reaching for Halo. Nigga, the only, the only, the only, the only, the only Halo I um I watch comes from freaking um Young Justice, nigga. That's the only Halo I know. <laughs> listen, <laughs> <That's legal>. listen. <laughs> Halo is the galaxy. Oh, uh, gee. As long as you realize that. Girl Spencer gonna make a comeback. <laughs> I can't wait to get home and play Cyberpunk. Whoa. God damn, I can't even play that in right now, bro. Damn. What game do you wanna play? Halo? <laughs> oh fuck Halo, man. <laughs> we got Halo. We got a lot of copies of Halo over here. Nobody was mine. Oh, yeah. You, you know, <laughs> you're in space. <laughs> hey, you know what's ironic, though? You don't go in space in Halo. That's what's, uh, that's what's ironic with that. Yeah. We do not go in you're space. You're always on one fucking planet. <laughs> bro, it's actually crazy, bro. I, for a space what do you game, think that co-op going to do? We should talk about that. Nigga, that co- bro, that I <laughs> co- you can't even go a thousand miles, thousand miles, um, meters away from your um, from your um, partner without dying. <laughs> uh, bro, it's it, it is dumb. It is retarded. Co-op is like a whole bunch of master machines too. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just a copy of it's a copy of your um of of the host. That's all you are. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, that shit crazy. You only, you only, you only have a different suit. It's just the same suit. Yep. <laughs> that shit, question. Wow, bro. I swear. Bro. It's 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 retarded. Like I've never seen such poor attempts to even. Hey man, it's what you get. It's what you get when um when when your budget is on is on Game Pass. So. Absolutely. It's stupid. Yep. What happens when your budget's on a freaking service? You do what you can do. In order to keep the service sustainable, that's how it is. Yep. Not, not even profit, not even profit, just sustainable. Sustainable gains for sustainable service. That's why, that's why, that's why, that's why um, season three, <laughs> season um, three is coming in six months. Hey, True Eddie. I want to talk to you about uh, all the L's you collect. Instead of the u, instead of the usual um two, um three months of um per season. 
Truity. Yeah. I want to talk to you about all the L's <laughs> you collected. I, yep. I wanted to have an intervention. Oh, jeez. And oh. they still ain't fixed the scoreboard. Um, they still ain't um, fixed the experience, um, experience neither. The progression. They still didn't fix that. That's still a problem. True Woody with were, the nine billion dollar game pass. God damn. Super chat. Hey, True Woody. Man, I don't know what the hell. Did you hear about it? Hey, yo, yo, Jay, Jay said they won. They won. Um, they wanted fucking Forza to get nominated for Game of the Year this loop, year. Loopity loop. They can't hear me. I gotta go back in. I don't know what. Was. Can you guys hear me now? Oh, oh yeah. you were talking? Oh, no. Yeah, I was no, talking no. 85,000 times. Dang, Dang. Honestly, I didn't hear you. I doubt the chat heard you either. Yeah, like, we ain't hear shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we talk, yo, we, yo, Discord is some, something, bro. I swear. Yo, that group of misfits is just the best, bro. Like, I was I'm so sad. Bro, Jay, I was so sad when that game ended, bro. I'm going to time myself. I'm going to time myself, though. I'm gonna tell myself, like every 30 minutes, I'm gonna put the system on rest mode. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. Wait, what's going I on was... with the PlayStation? What happened? Huh? Wait, your PlayStation's fucking up? Uh, not necessarily. It's um, it's having, it's having, it's shutting down every, every, um, every hour or so. Oh my god! What in the world? Yep. Yeah, so um. I have a few. Um, well, the chat seems to think it's it's dust in the system, so I've got, I'm, I'm ordering a vacuum. Yeah, you need to get um, a vacuum. Yeah, that's really the only but, reason. Um, to get this but, this only, but this only started happening ever since the um the new update came. So, cause I've been oh. cleaning it. I've been cleaning it the way I was cleaning it before. Now, damn, there was a damn problem. So, how long has it been I, since you cleaned it? Huh? I've been oh, about. I've cleaned it every um, every every um like twice a month, every single time. Okay. But um, but the thing is, have you thing checked? Is, the, have you checked the? I wonder if it's like the. I wonder if it's your power supply. I thought that too. I I'm saying that like too. I wonder if it's like the cord or something, or maybe. No, but there's nothing. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the cord. As I said, the chat seems to think it's the dust issue. But um, so I I'm, I ordered myself a proper um a proper um cleaner. So we'll see. But um, yeah. Now that I think about it, time to claim mine again too. It's been a while since I claim mine. I gotta I gotta do that shit ASAP. Yep. Yeah. Gotta I'm unplug once. that shit, take the plates off, and clean that shit out. I'm trying <laughs> to be a Game Pass legend like True Woody when I grow up. Oh yeah. yeah, that's it's gonna, gonna be difficult, man. All time. You got, you got, you got, you got, you gotta support it first, and yeah, uh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going Twitter and tell everyone um how good Game Pass is. That that that's one of the requirements. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. Hold on, that vacuum ain't gonna do anything. Why? Wait, if I have it vertical, that's another issue? Wait, what? No way. Why would that be an issue if some... I've never heard that before. No, Hold I mean, on, Nick. Nick, you got to explain know, yourself. Y'all you know how many people have their shit vertical? I don't see that being a problem. But, yeah, uh, you got to explain yourself, Nick. You got to explain that one to me because I'm, I'm, conf I'm lost on that one. Yeah. Hey, yo, Jay. Mm -hmm. Bro, when you finish Guardians of the Galaxy, you're going to be kind of sad, bro. I know. Because you're going to miss that. You're going to yeah, miss that. Yeah, but this is not overheating, though. That's not, that, that, um, it's, not a, it's not a heating issue. I'm about to hop on the crew because they did get that new uh, 60 frames per second resolution update. Uh oh. You mean the crew, too? Yeah. 
I got a 60 fr frames and a I higher resolution on. update this week. I watched, I watched, hold on, I watched this, I watched this guy's, um, guy computer because, um, booted, booted on YouTube. He owns and repairs, um, repair shops. Uh, he is constantly fixing PS5s that are vertical. Really? Start my story. What do you mean you start my story? Interesting. Oh. Well, just do what they say. Other than that, call PlayStation on Monday or do what they say. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna I'm i I'm, I've ordered the um I've ordered the 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 cleaner but True Woody if you believed in the game pass none of this will happen. <laughs> hey I, I I believe man I believe I'm 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 you don't get you don't, you don't hear the words that coming out of my mouth. It says, "I believe in Game Pass." Maybe, no. bro, Why maybe is Game maybe Pass not turning a profit? I know what it is, man. That PlayStation is jealous, bro. Because, because, because we need a better leader. That's what we need. We oh. need a better leader. It ain't oh, Phil leader. Spencer, nigga. <laughs> Your PlayStation's jealous. That's why it's cutting off because you love Game Pass so much. Oh man! Oh, That's see, 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 see. Oh man! Damn. It all comes full circle. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest to figure out what's going on here. So if, if you're supposed to lay it on the side, which side do you lay it on? On the side where Game Pass is coming out of? Game Pass don't come out of no sides. It comes from the top because it's always on top. What the <laughs> fuck did you just say? <laughs> oh, right, kick him out. Kick this guy oh. and throw an L in his face. <laughs> Goodness, this dude said Game Pass always comes out on top. <laughs> oh. Hey man, when you believe, you know, that's that's you gotta make that's up delusions, bro. Hey, exactly. Hey, Very hey, delusional. Man. Hey man, more <laughs> delusional than cult. And cult, cult is really del delusional. <laughs> man. Yeah, you can't get no more shilling than that, bro. That's weird. <laughs> Bro, that's weird. that's funny though. I ain't gonna even lie. He just, he, just, he just makes shit up on the fly like oh big announcement for Xbox. I'm like, bro, stop it. Leak this, leak that, leak this new game leak. <laughs> nigga, if it's, if it's such a leak, nigga, why is no one no one coming out with it, nigga? Why well why I only hear you talking about this shit? Rumors <laughs> about rumors about leaks. Leaks about rumors. Leaks about rumors. <laughs> yeah, I love that, bro. Rumors about leaks and leaks about rumors. Come, oh, leak man. Hey. Oh shit, that's what L stand for. Oh man. Damn. <laughs> oh wow. Leaking oh, L's. Oh, double L. No oh, damn. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> I don't reckon that. anyone who is um. Who is vertical to lay it down? Oh. Let's go see what's going on with this, um, One, seven, um, six this game real quick. I mean, it looks solid. It still looks as solid as I remember. I don't take no L's, sir. I don't take no L's, ma'am. <laughs> By the way, what's going on, chat? I ain't even speak to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't get the fuck out of Florida because I don't want to be in Florida. Honestly, if horizontal, if horizontal is the best way to um to put the system, then she I do it that way. But <laughs> but I've yeah, never had this Lord, issue man. before. This is a weird issue. That's all I'm saying. Is this where I want to go? I'm trying to go to Times Square. Where's Times Square? At? So laid oh, on yeah. the dis- yeah. laid on the yeah. dis- yeah. side. Hey. Okay. Hey, why are you in a whole Jeep, bro? You know how high gas is, bro, for a Jeep. <laughs> I don't believe in gas or Jeeps. Oh, shit. <laughs> but you believe in Game Pass? Yes, I do. <laughs> How is that possible? See, it looks hey, solid. Hey, it hey, just, hey, I don't hey, know hey, if it hey, changed hey. anything, but it does look solid. Games for Eternity. See, I can get a convert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I know a lot more people on crew now because it's on PlayStation Plus. Oh yeah, it's, it did jumped up a lot. Yeah, that's good. I think it's crew's not a bad game. It's just it's oh. not, man. It's just by Ubisoft. It's not <laughs> that's a bad the problem. Game. It's just by Ubisoft. That's the problem right there. It's by freaking Ubisoft. Uh oh. Oh shit. Hold on. That was what? twelve hours ago. Thrash got a new video. How come well, what, what, is, what did it say? Uh, Xbox. Oh, hold on, hold on. Xbox saying salty about God of War 2022. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I saw that title. Uh, yeah. I need to watch it. Yeah, I need. I need to watch. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that video. I was at work though, so I'm. Uh, I suppose that to be expected, but I need to watch that. Cat Williams. Yeah, I need to watch that too. <laughs> Uh, I swear, all I see on Twitter is God of War and Final Fantasy. I mean, on YouTube. Hey, less than, hey, hey, Games for Eternity. Less than a month left before um before Nidium Bleach Bleach Saga comes out. Yes, sir. <laughs> How we that? We're so close, bro. Bro, we have yeah, it's a it's gonna be a crazy year, bro. It's a lot of movies, TV shows, and games coming out. Definitely yep. gonna keep us busy. <laughs> yep, and, and our wallets crying. <laughs> Yo, mine's always crying. <laughs> mine's always <laughs> crying, bro. I swear. I'm Things always. Up. Yep, Ooh. y'all know this is funny, right? Xbox can't ever get no Square Enix exclusives, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, they, yo, that's what they hate Square Enix right now. That's what they hate Square Enix right now. Yo, yo, some of these dudes I saw on Twitter, bro, say that they're boycotting Square Enix. I'm like, bro. <laughs> nah, I need to boy, you need to boycott your family. They can let them do it, man. I, I told y'all what the outcome gonna be. Let them do it. Let the PC fans pirate games too. Let them do it. Don't say shit to them. Just no, keep I'm, letting I, them I, do I, it I, because, I, because if we got to, at the end result, it's going to be just like Final Fantasy uh, 7 Re- Rebirth. Where we going to keep getting all these exclusives because they don't want to buy the games. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's great, Ice Queen. Ice Queen said she just, she got five games from um, PlayStation Plus. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a great it's a great deal, bro. I don't anybody yeah, telling yeah. people it's a bad deal, like look, that's why I like that the FTC got involved because you see all those haters, they left. They ain't nowhere to be found. But here's the, but here's the thing though, how you gonna how you gonna hate on a service that's cheaper than your service? That's why they hating. Hey, they don't want that. the competition. Hey, you got no. Who's seen that straightened up a bit though for real since the FTC shit? Digital Foundry. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh definitely. by the way, by the way, games for eternity. You yeah, know, you right. know, you know Tilda's outfit. Can you actually get the outfit? Not her specifically out. Not her specifically, but uh uh hold on, you said Tilda oh oh nah yeah, bro. Yeah, any other Zenith's outfit. Nah, that would be fire. That would be fire as fuck. Cause when I first seen her, I was praying to God that I could get that shit. 
<laughs> that shit looks tough, right? I ain't gonna lie. With all, with all, with all the shoe like glowing around, around it. Oh, that shit's tough. Type shit, bro. I would love that. Nah, they're probably saving something like that for part three, though. You might get something similar in part three. She, yeah, she, she might, she might create something for you for um for part three. I don't think she's bad. I honestly don't think she's bad. Yeah, who, yeah, who, who you I think she's about? one of the good, <laughs> good ones. Even though Aloy, uh, Aloy has suspicions of her. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about her. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I, yeah. I know. Now I know who y'all talking. About. I'm like, who y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It's, it's you know. Yeah. Tilda, the one in the white, um, the white Zenith yeah, outfit. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that we was gonna get that outfit too. Yeah. Wasn't that? Wasn't that a thought, bro? I, I was like, I know I ain't the only Bruh. one. Yo, yeah, we all thought that in the beginning. I was like, hey, bro, bro. When I found out Pharaoh was his dumb ass is still alive and turned into a beast. That blew my fucking mind. I was like, how the fuck is that even possible? I wish we could have seen it. It's actually a pharaoh. No, the man is actually a pharaoh. I'm like, bro, bro you got I am me. legit trying to get the fuck out of here. I wish we could have seen the damn beast version of Ted Pharaoh, bro. Bro, that man turned himself into a pharaoh, bro. I don't, you we didn't see it, but he turned himself into a pharaoh, bro. I'm like, yo, this nigga crazy. This nigga wanted to live forever, bro. But <laughs> apparently, it was an abomination. So they, that's why they didn't show him. I don't give a fuck. I don't still want to see. Nigga, it's a game. It's a game. We should have seen it, nigga. Yeah, we should have seen it. See I wanted to see what that nigga was. That nigga, the, can you remember that nigga's face, bro? Like, I'm like, this nigga pissed. Like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it was a rated M game, bro, we probably would have seen him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, yeah, actually, you're probably right, because that probably would have uh, flesh peeling off and all that, bro. You all yeah. you would have been all formed and disgusted. So, have y'all been watching any anime? Because I know... I watched bro. this. Uh, I finished I one watch, anime the other day. I watched the bastard. bastard. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. Watching bastard on Netflix, bro. That's bro, so I watched like four minutes of it and I fell asleep. But I, I'm about to go back on there and watch that. Yeah, bro. I fit. Um, what anime did you say? It's called Bastard. Yeah, on it's Netflix, a re- and it looks really good. Yeah, it's from, it's from a it's from a classic. Yeah, yeah that's for yeah, it definitely is from a classic, but I like the way that the new animation looks. It looks but they did draw it like it's old school. I was wondering what it yep. was. Because yeah, I know yeah. that style. That style used to be very, old, very popular with old animes. Definitely an old school style. It's just it's just cleaned up and, I mean, I think crew looks good. I, I I'm not really I don't know if it's popping with sixty frames per second. We might go look at Digital Foundry real quick. But I really, one thing I really like about the crew is that. It does seem very responsive. It does look very responsive. It does. It does look very responsive. One thing I love about it is that map. How you can zoom all the way out and then zoom into wherever your location is. And I really, really love that shit. It's the power of the cloud. Whoa, illegal. The one thing, no, the one thing I actually do respect the crew for. Is that you can drive anywhere in, into the in the United States? That is legitimately exactly. Yeah, I love something that. impressive. That is impressive. That's why I like um, Watch Dogs too, because their version of uh, California looked really, really good. Or San Francisco. They, but the thing is, though, if they can actually, if they can actually have an accurate um, predict um, prediction of the um. Of the entire United States by using Google Maps. Oh, that would have been fucking crazy. That would have been insane. That you know how crazy been that would have been. Yep, but it would actually take a lot of um a lot of gigabytes to actually have that have that um in a full game. But yeah, like a three hundred gig game or some shit, bro. Hey, but then 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 what you call it? Say that she was mom. She was making um a, a terabyte game. Who? Um, um, Jay Raymond. Jade oh. Raymond. Oh shit. Yeah, she did say that. Oh, a terabyte. That's a lot of space, man. <laughs> Am I getting close to being not on Florida no more? Why am I not get, being able to get away from Florida? Florida's the best state. That's why they don't want you to get over, get away from it, man. <laughs> to, there we go. I was trying to put the waypoint on so they could take take me to get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck so Florida, Florida, Florida's the best state, man. That's why they don't want you to leave. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, man. 
<laughs> so bad. It smells like Game Pass. Hey, oh. hey, hey, illegal. No, that's nice, man. <laughs> yeah, it's nice if you want it to be. How about that? <laughs> no, nah, I like Florida, though. When I go down there and got money, I love Florida. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything that's telling me it's not 60, but then I'm not seeing anything that's telling me that it is 60. It's not like popping out on it. So this is basically um, Forza Horizon. Well, bigger, yes. Yeah. Better, yes. Because it also got nitrous. God damn. One thing that they should have been doing in um in Forza to improve it. Nitrous. They got it in this game. You can not see this game. Something oh, for a party does not I do. ran head first into a fucking bus. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You'll see. Wait, yep. I'm, wait is this stream behind? No, it's not. You will see. I just ran into a tour bus. The the bus of tours. Oh, I made the wrong turn. I can't even. I can't even tell if this is behind because it's not showing. Oh, huh. you gotta believe in yourself, Truity, and then and only then you will see if Game Pass is truly the Netflix of gaming. Nigga, Netflix ain't in Netflix. I know, Netflix right? ain't even Netflix. <laughs> There we go. Let's get the fuck out of Florida. Get back to the mainland. Oh, yeah. Now I saw you running into the bus, which is weird. Oh, you're real behind now. Well, no, but it's not telling me that I'm behind. It's, it's telling me I'm up to date. Let me restart this whole... Yo, I know. I hate, I hate really. when YouTube does that shit, bro. YouTube is a bunch of dog shit sometimes, man. I think it's just. I think it's just streaming in general is just dark shit. Everything's streaming in general is always a step behind, but mm -hmm. I fucking hate it. Always gonna be lag. E even if you're caught up on the live stream, you're gonna have a couple of seconds lag. Got that nitrous. Peppa Pig, God damn! You know, you know, someone is trying to, um, someone is trying to freaking um, prank me yesterday, bro. I mean, yesterday. They're trying to do what? They're trying to trying to prank me. <laughs> but you know what? They caught, they called, and um, I realized it was a private number. Nigga, guess what? They try to um, they try to t tell me, do you like Peppa Pig? I'm like, bro. Oh, it was an Xbox fan. Oh. <laughs> Had him in an Xbox fan talking about Peppa I'm Pig. I'm like, bro, you kidding me, right? Like, nigga, you know your prank ain't working, right? And I, I'm like, bro, y'all, y'all pathetic. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. Y'all pathetic. And I, and I, and I hanged up, and they called me back again. I'm like, what the fuck? On. Why y'all taking me through the forest? Because I want you to experience Forza Horizon 5. Oh, because that's where I put the marker at. Okay. <laughs> but, Jay, yeah, that's, that's, they want you to experience Forza Horizon 5. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experience Washington, Remember Forza Horizon D.C. 5. Forza that's how I'm under. Presidential Park. Where's the White House at? You going to D.C.? Yeah, I'm going to D.C. I'll always, I'll always go to D.C. You know what, though? No, I ain't going to lie. I would love I would love to play this game just so I can drive. Just so I can just drive or, um, drive to different states. You know what <laughs> I don't world. like is that because I live in D.C. and how just how it looks nothing like D.C., bro. Like not yeah, even... Know. One percent, like the uh, look. At one percent is the 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 landmarks. Other than that, nothing looks like DC. <laughs> I would have loved them to upgrade the map that, before they upgraded saying. the fucking frames per second. That's what I'm saying. They should. They should. They should. What you call it? Partner with um with Google. 
They should Google definitely uh, like after them updating this one to sixty frames. There, there's a no brainer. They're gonna make another uh crew. They gotta make another crew, bro. Yeah, they they they, they updated this. They're definitely gonna make another one. Hey, goddamn, Nakon did a stream. I completely forgot about it. Oh, Nakon was dog shit. I know, huh? I know Nakon, and I know they can't make games. So I'm gonna just wait four more fucking years. And hopefully they perfect their shit, and That's then not... I'll see if I'll buy their games. No, bro, I don't I, trust I, I'm, them. That, I'm look. I'm looking for Test Drive Unlimited though. Bro, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if it's actually any good. Well, yeah, uh, bite the bullet. Let me know. I'm not. I'm not gonna buy no bullet. I'm just. I, I'm just I'm looking to see. I'm not gonna buy it, but I will watch some gameplay of somebody. But I'm not buying that shit. I don't trust Nacon like that with big budget games, bro. And they got a lot of big budget games at the same time. And I saw Hobbit, and it looked like dog shit, bro. And that's when I knew. I was like, okay, yeah, they are as, as bad as I think they are. Like, oh. We got nitrous on this bitch. Wait up! You said for, uh, Forza don't have yeah, nitrous. Forza does not, yeah, Forza does not have nitrous. Why? I, 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 honestly, I don't know. I'm being dead honest. I do not know. I think it was a, it's a massive missed opportunity. Because if you are if you're if you're trying to be um on the arcade simulator, this is the best thing to do. But I couldn't give you a reason why they did not put nitrous in the game. So crazy, man. That's fine based on retarded, so I, I, I it would make sense that they didn't want they didn't put it in there. Nakon was forty. It was forty-seven minutes long. Damn. You know what I love about this? Even though I know these maps ain't accurate or shit, just seeing these houses and shit, and just being able to drive around. You know, it's just like this is the game yep. we all expect to have a, a big open world game like this, and we all think, oh, what well, you got to sacrifice to make it, but. Hats off to Ubisoft for going after it and, and just making it, you know. Hats off to them, cause I where Wait, I live yeah. at, where I live at that this this neighborhood and stuff I just been through, it looks exactly how it's you know how it's supposed to look, you know. And I, and you know I gotta admit that these you know in small towns and stuff, in suburban towns, it looks just like this on the back roads. Very, this is really true to form. On the true to clorm. Ah, my neck. I just hit my neck with a stack of Game Pass cards. I don't know if I'm going to be alright. Okay. Fucking nitrous. Something Forza does not have, <laughs> and their fans are fans are dumb. I'm I'm being honest. The fans of um, of Xbox are stupid. They don't want it. They don't want games to improve. <laughs> That's something you tell you tell me something. I knew, I knew that shit when you was in diapers. I knew, I knew that shit. <laughs> hmm? I knew it. Wait, on the Nate on stream, they're 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 presenting. Do they got a stream now, or are you talking about a stream no, they no, did no, no. before? It's, no, no, they did before. Oh, okay. Well, they're, yeah. put, they're, they're, put, they're, they're Goodness, man. Ow. <laughs> I'm fucking up this car. I ain't, I, I'm ain't. i not going to be shit on the road if I start driving, bro. Because I can see me falling asleep at the wheel, and that's not good. 
I do have some sleep problems, so I mean, I wanted to go after the driving this year, but I and I. Robocop twenty twenty two. You say what? <laughs> Robocop twenty twenty two. What do you say? I said he says Robocop twenty twenty two. Couldn't hear what he said. I think he said Robo Xbox twenty twenty three. Hold on. Nope. Let me see what you're saying. Yeah. Robocop. Robo- Is that what he said? Ooh. Robocop, bro. Nathan's making a Robocop. Yeah. I don't believe you. No, if, if, my bad, not twenty two. Twenty three. I read that Exactly. Wrong. That's why I kept asking you, True Eddie. That's why I kept asking you. <laughs> Exactly why I kept asking you. All right. It should look bad, but it can be <laughs> taking a bunch of nice and stuff though. Like goddamn. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm go give True Eddie an L. Nigga, you get you get an L for calling for saying. Oh, hey, I, I asked you four like, times. What you say? You kept saying 2022, 2022. I was like, I know. Actually, Robo-com. I said 2022 nah. once. No, you I said, said it eight times. Eight times? Fuck. I didn't even you. say shit about, about this eight times. I saw you. <laughs> oh, let's ask the chat. chat. I didn't say words, nigga. Uh, did True Witty say 2022? <laughs> At all? How do you see voice, nigga? That's interesting. I can see your voice. Nigga, your, you voice see your voice can see people. <laughs> Let me, uh, let's go take a look. So, let's go take a look at RoboCop, and then let's go get the fuck out of here so I can watch some anime. <laughs> this game look like dog shit. I saw, I saw better graphics in fucking Detroit Become Human. Hey, I didn't say, I didn't say the graphics was good, nigga. I didn't, I, I, didn't I believe say. that we need to elect True Witty to buy this game and complete it for the whole Legion. I've seen, oh, no. I've seen better graphics in Dreams than this. I mean, I'm it's a, a first-person I mean, game, bro. Robocop. This game never. How? Why is something telling me this game ain't gonna come out anytime soon? It might not be. It's gonna get delayed twice. Bro, I'm looking at these visuals, bro. This this shit, this shit don't look good, bro. It's Nacon, bro. That's, you know, hey. <laughs> That's why I said I'm gonna back away respectfully from any and everything they do. Yeah, I'll try. To, I'll try their games up. I won't, I'll try this shit out, but I won't. I won't play that shit day one. No, it, it'll be like a day three sixty five or some shit. You know what I'm saying? None of none of their none of none of the games are day ones. This was just an isolated glitch. Better alive. You are coming with me. Robocop, you play it out, brother. No. No, that's not gonna be a good game, bro. That that already looked like some stuff that you just you say, oh yeah, I'm not buying that. I ain't know it. I know that's gonna, I know that's gonna be in the bargain bin soon enough. That that's. Hey, I'm just seeing if there's anything interesting here at all. I'm I'm skipping through everything. I'm skipping to see if True Witty gets L's, but I can't find well, it right now. Be, that game gonna be generic as fuck. Yeah, well, and that's why. That? Look, I'm looking at uh, what's this game called? Rising something? No, uh, Golem. I knew Golem was gonna be dog shit from the moment they announced it. Ah. This game looks okay. so last ah. gen, bro. I'm letting you know right now, bro. Y'all, Nacon ain't worth shit, bro. What's gonna piss me off is when they bring back Test Drive and it's gonna look like dog shit like this. Yeah, this embrace is the bad. Embracer Group owns Nikon. I know, but Nikon been like that for a while, bro. Like, bro, I, it's... is that what they're gonna do? Is, is, are they gonna? Are they gonna? If they, if they hold on, you say Embracer Group owns Nikon? Yeah, Embracer Group case, owns everybody, basically. I, I hope they, I hope they're not the ones to bring back um Tomb Raider. Oh God, no, please. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Don't, please don't pick Nacon. Oh, God. <laughs> nice one. I swear they're going to throw that shit on now and chill that same shit to Nacon, bro. I'm so glad. I'm so glad Spring still owns fucking what you call it. Oh. Okay, so Nacon ain't show shit. 
worth hyping up. But I'm going to run through all of this shit so we can not have to talk about it tomorrow. Guys, yeah, so I'm about to run up out of here because it's already 5.02. I'm about to watch some anime and relax. Of course, 2022. What is this dumb shit? Why are some, some stupid, um, stupid looking games, bro? You see this game I'm looking at right now? I think this is Nacon also. Gangs of Sherwood. So Look, still right I think still rising is also Nacon, but the thing is about that game, it looks alright. But I look yeah, at the game look, the trailer, bro, Gangs of Sherwood, trailer, they show pre alpha gameplay. Why would you show pre alpha gameplay, bro? Bro, they're yeah, so good. unprofessional, bro. That's not a good look, bro. You know that's what, bro? It's all right. I'm staying away from them. Don't ask me. I just not gonna buy their game. Anybody else can buy their games. That's cool. I'm not gonna judge you, but I'm not fucking with Nacon. They need like four or five more years of development, and maybe I could trust that they some sort of a good yeah. developer. But they are not you good right it. now, bro. And they taking on too much shit, bro. They doing they too to much stuff. Focus on one or two projects and just be, just let that um let that be like you know. Nah, bro. They got no soul either, bro. Wait, they just pumping shit wait, out. Is it a card game? What the fuck? What what game is a crack a cry, uh, card game? Uh, I skipped it. I didn't. I didn't. I saw cards and I'm not. I just skipped for it. Yeah. I'm not fucking Nacon, bro. The only thing I'm looking for is Test Drive Unlimited. But they are on the game, so. Woo! Come on, my neck. Okay, everybody, have a great Saturday. Have a great Saturday. Watch some movies, anime, spend time with the family. You know the drill. We will be here tomorrow for the Sunday show to go over all the fucking crazy topics. And we got a shitload of them to discuss. Uh, Games for Eternity. True witty. Yes, I'm about sir. to watch. What am I about to watch? Motherfucking bastard. The Anake. You know, no, I might, I might, I might take up on watching that. Uh, like I said, I'm pissed off that Comey can't communicate. Got 23 episodes, and they stopped putting out the English dubs on the 13th episode. So 10 episodes ago, they stopped putting out fucking English anime. And I don't see this anime on Funimation you know or on Crunchyroll. All I heard is that nigga saying precious constantly. Who? Please don't tell me this nigga they're, they're doing Lord of the Rings though. No, it's uh Gollum. Why did they make that game, bro? It looks ass, bro. Bro, it's oh, Nacon, bro. It's, it's Nacon. It's horrible, bro. It's like the most boring game on the planet, bro. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> and you got Nacon. Play? Fucking character on the goddamn IP, bro. In the series, bro. I know, man. That's hey, bro. You you can't make this shit up, but you have to. Okay, everybody, have a great day. Uh, you might see me on Twitch later tonight. I make a, a notification. Um, Kevin, Matt, I'm supposed to debate yeah, you at eight o'clock. Amazon commercial, bro. Goddamn fuck. Yeah, I'm supposed to deb debate Kevin Mack today oh, at well, eight o'clock, but I don't know where Lord he's at. And I don't think Bruh. he tried to contact me. So I'm going to put up yeah. something in the community section and to see if he sees it. But uh, if he comes back here between now and next week, I I conversate with him and ask him, like, does he really want to do the debate? But he hasn't tried to reach out. I haven't seen him in a chat or anything. Maybe I missed it. But uh, I, I I don't mind debating you, bro. I'm, I'm re actually ready. But I um I haven't seen hey, you. Is he actually in the chat? No, I'm just letting people know that I'm looking for him. He wanted to do a debate, and I'm I'm letting people know that if you see him, yep. let him know that I'm ready. I'll do it's it today at eight. That he comes here, he runs his mouth, and then he um, asks for the bed, and he just leaves. I mean, that's how most people do, though. Yeah, that's what they do. They like they don't they that's don't think I'm gonna um, see him up on it. I'm gonna definitely see you up on it. Um, that's a bitch move. That's yeah. a bitch move, though. Well, I'm, don't worry. I will be looking for him, and the day he just comes in here and thinks everything all cool, I will let him know that hey, bro, we're supposed to do a debate. Because you were defending uh, Zuby Tech. Uh, no, no, MBG saying he got a wife and kids. Hey, you know that MBG, games. MBG, I think, I, mean, I think someone told MBG, bro, because MBG decided to do a, um, a stream, bro. A what? gameplay stream. Oh, he did a gameplay stream for the first 
Huh? No way. You for real? No, I'm dead for real. I even sent it to Jake to God. Hold on, bro. What? What do you I'm about to go check it. I'm about to go check it right now. Seven. Remake. Wait, no. remake? But he yep. just, like, true. Uh, one of y'all told me he playing this for the first time ever. Like, he's never played. No, um, no, he, he, he claims he, he claims he nah, started believe. it and he started believe. over. I don't believe. That's what he said. That's what he said. I don't he's, believe. I know <laughs> MBG. He is only going to play the biggest games, and he's not a Japanese uh gamer. He doesn't play Japanese video games. Um, what what game? Uh, when did he play I, the game? I, I sent it to you. I sent it to you. I'm not looking at the link right now. I'm already on his YouTube page. What, what video was it? It was um um Final Fantasy Seven remake. Uh oh. <laughs> Final Fantasy Seven remake. What do you mean? I'm in his uploads. He has recently posted a video two hours ago. New Sony event rumor. Big no, PlayStation. No, 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 not not today. It wasn't today. Two days ago. It was at uh, my day. Of, um, he might have been might have been from Friday or Saturday. Not Friday. Friday or Thursday. Sorry. I mean, he posted something four days ago. Sony makes big moves for PS5 backwards. You sure it's MBG? <laughs> Yes, I sent nigga. I sent you. I sent you a um a, a link in your in the Discord. I go. I go. I have to go check the Discord because I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm on his page and I don't see shit. I got it, it on the screen it. right now. I swear, I sent. I sent it to you. It's in your. It's in your. I see it in the DM. I see it in DMs. I'm looking at it right maybe now, but he, maybe he deleted the video. But I don't see. <laughs> I don't see the video itself on his page. Oh my goodness! That nigga probably that's deleted all, it. That's what I'm saying. Like if you, if you, you know, some people, some people don't save their streams. Well, well I, don't I, I clicked the link and it's, it's taking it. me to the the video that True Witty talking about. But I'm gonna go see. It's unlisted. There it is, see? Unlisted, huh? So you, you know, why, you know why he did that? Because he don't want it to affect his algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have yeah. respect for him now? Nah. I still got... Yeah. I got less respect for him now than anything. <laughs> bro, Damn. I mean, unlisted is... Look, bro, I don't care about algorithms. I care about the gamers. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe that nigga unlisted his gameplay no. video, but didn't unlist anything else. Wow. I guess he didn't get a lot of super chats. <laughs> I don't know. Probably, probably didn't. He only played an hour and thirty nine minutes of it. Yeah, he only he only played an hour, but still, like, fuck, only on, only he unlisted. I really wish we had his PSN ID. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not MBG. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, think it's MBG. Yeah, I don't think wow, it's that's that's pretty fucked up. That's why I was I was asking you true what he was like, what's going on? I'm on his page right now. I bet he didn't like And he's breaking up. This dude look one of his fans said remake. One of MBG Truity and MBG. Hold on. Huh? One, one, of, one of his fans said, it makes me so happy <laughs> seeing new gamers become Final fa fans of Final Fantasy VII. How, wait up. Oh. What kind of statement is that? Let me read that one more time. It makes me so happy to see new gamers become fans of Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII is 25 years old. If you call <laughs> somebody a new gamer, that means that you acknowledge that they haven't been playing video games in the past. And if Damn, that person I... is just now playing Final Fantasy after 25 years, that means you refuse to play the game. Then you're not much of a gamer, period. MBG's not a gamer. You waited 25 years to play Final Fantasy VII. And Final Fantasy VII Remake and Integrate were out last year on the PS5. Not to mention two years before that, Final Fantasy VII Remake was out on the PS4. You yep. you well, purposely was, refused well, to play well, Final well, Fantasy well, VII. Here's the thing. He did. He did say he was not. I don't a fan care what he JRPG. said. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Real gamers play everything, True Woody. I know. 
And over the last 10 years, Japanese RPGs have not been turn-based. The biggest gripe with the Xbox community is that they don't like Japanese RPGs because they kept thinking they were turn-based. While they were putting out this bullshit, Japanese RPGs were going through a fucking change and they were no longer turn-based. MBG is an Xbox fan at his core. He came over in 2018. That means his thought process was the same as everybody else's. Japanese yep. RPGs are still turn-based. Fucking idiot. Which is false. Which is false. Again, he's showing that he's a fucking idiot, bro. So, all if, he, if he's ever posted any gameplay, if he's ever posted any gameplay, this means that he doesn't have it listed. Oh, he played Demon Souls, I think, when they first dropped a couple years ago. I no, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't when it first dropped. I think when it went, I think he, did he play? I think he played Demon Souls. Uh, I seen, I seen the thumbnails and shit. No, he asked, yes, yes, but it wasn't, it wasn't when the game dropped. And he, and if it was, he didn't do gameplay the day one. Something's up with this guy. I don't know. MBG is just, I don't know. Hey. That's the only game. That's the only game I've seen that I saw he that he actually played. He did a live stream of that. He did do a live stream, but then he um, but then uh, been then where's the live stream? He he dis delisted it. I don't know why he keep delisting his gameplays. Well, you just told me why. It's the not algorithm. gonna be a part of the algorithm. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's probably. Yeah. That's probably true. That, he wants. That, that to, he wants true. to maintain that his channel is only for news, and so that he gets the majority of that. The demographic of strictly people looking for gaming news is is high, like call Super Eastwood high. high. However, yeah, however, he's not really getting that many views anymore. Look, 14,000 views, 15,000 views, 18,000 views, 19,000 views. Hit Like, people are catching on to his bullshit. That's all I'm saying. He can't keep doing the same type of shit because it's not. Look, okay, you, you, think, I'm, you, think, I'm, I'm, you think I'm joking? Listen to this. New Sony event rumor. Big PlayStation Plus leak. Now, who does that sound like? <laughs> it sounds like all these ones. Like I said, this guy is wearing the color blue, but still producing the Xbox style videos. He's the Colt Eastwood of PlayStation. He's still bleeding green. He's still bleeding green. He looks like he's like a Smurf bleeding green. <laughs> oh shit! That's uh, weird, man. That's weird. Huh? That's a good one, too. <laughs> so this is why he did. He definitely didn't want to uh, show nobody. So the video in question only got four thousand views. That's Damn, not. That man, that's not that a man lot. Delisted. That man delisted it, bro. That's so. He delisted <laughs> it because nobody watched it. Because oh, nobody want to watch well. people play video games. That doesn't mean you should take it away, though. Damn, man. What the fuck? <laughs> that's bad, though. That's That shows that all you care about is the, um, is the views, that you don't care about the games. Exactly. I'm, what have <laughs> I been telling y'all, though? No, that's, that, that's terrible. That, that, that's I've been terrible. been telling y'all that. Okay, if they do what I think they're going to do, I'm going to leave off the crew. What do you mean? Whenever I start up the crew, they keep putting me in Florida. They start me out in Florida, and I don't know why. You need, you need to go to a new state. Drive I am to going to a new state, but how do I have you know, that as my... Fast, you know you can fast travel, right? I know, but how do I have a, a, a new state as my, my default state? Every time that I start up the game, I want to be in that state. The game doesn't seem to save where I'm, I was at. That's weird. Let me show you. Yep, he did it again. I'm back in Florida. 
Uh, so where do I stupid. what what do I need to do to to have my home my my home base in Washington D.C. or something like that? I have no clue because I don't I don't play it as often as I sh- as I used to. Yeah, because every fucking time my home base is in fucking Florida. I want my home base to be somewhere else. I don't know how to fucking change that shit, but yeah, it fucking irked me. Well, let me get my ass off here. Oh, mm, what the hell was that looking the at? The Adventure of me. Chris. What is this? <laughs> it's a fat nerd person flying through the sky. The Adventure of Chris. It's about a fat white kid. Okay, cool. Just gonna just get a guess. Take a wild guess and guess this is a PC port of something. So take a wild fucking guess. The adventure. Yeah, you know, it's gotta be some PC port shit. Gotta be. Why is, yo, why is Sony letting that through? Cut. I don't fucking know. I, 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 I Stone is giving them banger up the brand and taking bum piss poor shit after piss poor shit. I don't get that. Hey man, that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. Just gotta ignore that for now. Hope this shit get better. I wish I could hide certain categories of games, bro. Like so they don't. <laughs> You might see me on Saints Row too, by the way. I'm just gonna let you know. Saints Row Which the third one? Saints Row the Third Remaster. I might try to clean some trophies up. I might try to get the uh, I will help you once once I fi- fix this issue. <laughs> with the power, yeah. Yeah. I know I'm uh, def- if I'm not monster chilling on loaded. Saints later, I might be on one of these Pokemon uh, monster games, either Tim Tim uh, uh, Nino Cooney or World of Final Fantasy. I'm trying to decide which one I might chill on, but I also might get on fucking Star Ocean since I finally got through that one part that it was stuck on for a couple of years. Um. Okay, and then Sifu, I can make some progress on Sifu, level some shit up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back in. I gotta get back in some of this stuff. But no, most notably, I'll be on fucking uh, Guardians trying to finish that up. I don't want to spread myself too thin, you know? Uh, yeah. Whenever you try and get on Arcade again, and maybe later tonight or tomorrow after the stream, let me know. I, you know, I'm going to just go watch some anime real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna, I should be... I should be back in my mood. It's just, it's, you know, it's, you know, when it's raining like this shit and it's all muggy, you just want to fucking lay in a bed, man. It's one of them lazy days. I feel you. I feel you. What is... Let me just... Uh, crap. Okay, guys, that's it. Sunday show tomorrow, man. Big show.